Hello, everybody, and welcome to, um, make sure I've got audio, yes, welcome to the broadcast, welcome to the Glassbreakers Guild here on Casual Cactus. I am Casual Cactus, your host, Keith, and I am sitting in the big chair to DM for you guys tonight. Around the table, my friends and family have gathered to go th and uh, have some shenanigans and have some adventures and we're inviting you guys along with us. So thank you so much for joining us and welcome. Before we get started, we do have a few announcements. As always, um, we do have our Discord server up and running. So there's the uh, address there. You guys can join in on that. Um, that is uh, a good place for news of, about what's going on here on this channel. Um, as well as Curie's uh, Creative Streaming. Uh, we are affiliated and uh, we uh, um, both sort of put announcements up there for you guys to keep track of. Um, streaming announcements when we go live, uh, any scheduling changes that need to be made, anything like that, you can find that on the Discord. Uh, we've also got a section called um, the Hags Master, which is our in-game, our in-character tavern a good place to bring your role-playing characters um, and otherwise you can just hang out on the channel and talk to us and share art and writing and all kinds of fun stuff so give it give it a whirl and check it out if you are getting a little bit behind on what's going on with the stream, you can also go to our YouTube channel. And check out the um, it's usually <laughs> up to date. Some weeks I miss. Sometimes the episode too. <laughs> like um, like this family. week. So I, I missed uploading last week's session. I apologize for that. You're too behind. No, I'm not. 18 is up. No, oh, okay. 17 is up twice. 17 is up twice, which is, I think, is where the problem is. I meant to do uh, 19 and uploaded the wrong one this week. So I will get that remedied. But normally we're up to date, and I sure, <laughs> apologize sure. for not being up to date right now. Uh, but you can go check out all the back episodes, all of the video content that we do here on the stream. Uh, we've got all of this campaign. We've got all of the last campaign that we've done. Uh, Danny has done a campaign. Um, she's actually in, uh, running a second one. It's a monthly, so not as often. Um, and we we're mainly putting those videos up for our recollection since it is a monthly game. But you guys are welcome to watch those as well. Um, it's a fully online. And we also do other... Um, more infrequent content, but all of the video content we do does go onto the YouTube channel, so you guys go check that out. While you're over there, go ahead and hit like and subscribe, and be sure that you ring the bell notification so that you will always be notified when uh, new videos go up. Last thing we'll do here before we get started with the recap is just give a shout out to panstreams.co.uk. Those guys are providing music and sound effects for uh, Stephen and Alma's uh, spellcasting when it comes up. So I just want to give the, those guys a shout out. Um, uh, one other little disclaimer, all other incidental music and sound effects being provided by um, Sirens, uh, Sirenscape. So also something that I uh, highly, highly endorse because they're just really, really cool. Sound effects are cool. All right, so who gets to do our recap today? Not me. Not me. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, not me. I, oh, no. I guess that means, Brayden, me. you get Yay. to do our recap. It, I mean, it was a short episode, at least. Well, I mean, to be, to be fair, I took most of the screen time on that episode, so. Uh, hi. Uh, <laughs> uh, so... Uh, we were staying in uh, Killian's portable tower, portable tower, <laughs> and uh, while we were there, we had some discussions with some NPCs. Uh, Alma had, uh, sorry, let me look at the camera first. Uh, Alma <laughs> talked with Olmo about what he wants for the future of the changelings in the valley and changelings as a whole. Uh, 
Simi and Milo talked about their plans going forward and ahead. Uh, we fitted into some uh, guard attire just for future reference so that we can have it. Uh, Sionis, our wizard companion acquaintance, uh, talked with Milo about what was going on with him and a long discussion followed with that. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Uh, uh, we, uh, Milo discovered some things about uh, some, the thing he's made a pact with and uh, some future references for things to come. Uh, around the end of the session, uh, Frederick, the small hummingbird construct, returned to us and gave us directions on where the uh, flying tower we were tracking was, which happened to be in a glacier. So we've set Here my uh, uh, pseudo dragon familiar to uh, scout an area for Sionis to teleport us in. And I think that's where we left off with that. All right. Anybody got anything else to add? If not, we will go ahead and get started on this this week's episode. Because we are, um, since you weren't here, yes. and we left you on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Uh, several days behind us. <laughs> several days behind. I think we will probably start right. with Mizuki. Right. As okay. you may or may not recall, you had just come in from uh, snooping through Lars's room yes. and um, using your... Um, Homemade key <laughs> to his yeah, room. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You were able coffee. to get in, and you didn't find anything of, of no. any note, but you came back to your room and found that the door to your room had been un left unlocked, even though you're pretty sure you locked it when you left. Upon entry, yes. you found Akari standing <laughs> in front of your fire, and he turned and spoke to you, and he said, Mizito, I believe we need to have a discussion about you, how your family has hired, um, your, or about your family's history of hiring changelings. <laughs> Do come in uh, and uh, close the door. Casually invites you. you into your own room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this can uh, go no place. <laughs> But, um, Helen had basket. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't usually take visitors this late. Uh, my apologies. I, um, thought I might catch you earlier, but you obviously weren't in. I do hope you don't mind that I've started the fire. No. And if I do? <laughs> of course not. That's perfectly acceptable. It does get a bit uh, cold. There, there's a little bit of a whistling from behind him. Ah, perfect timing. Would you care for some tea? And he turns around and pull, pulls up a pot off of the fire and sets it. Uh, I do have my own tea. I usually prefer that, especially here in my <laughs> Oh yes, I, I, I I found it. I, I, I did find your tea. No, no, you misunderstand. This <laughs> is your tea. <laughs> I'm, not I'm offering you here. your tea. I'm offering you your own tea. Be smooth. I'll give it that. The ultimate, like, power play. Oh, would you like some of your own refreshments? Can I offer you your own food? Um. Certainly. I'll, I'll take some. And so he. <laughs> He very, he tea. very precisely, <laughs> and very properly pours you tea in what you recognize as the a sort of a take on 
the formal tea ceremony that you are familiar with. The, the, only, the only difference is that the roles are reversed. Whereas normally it would be you serving the tea be, just because that's the way it was done. Yes. He is actually serving the tea for you. And he does pour himself a, a bit from the same pot and he will sip it first. And your poison. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, is, <laughs> it is excellent tea. He he has he has boiled it and steeped it exactly the way that he should. Excellent Iacane tea. <laughs> <laughs> tea. Lethal tea. <laughs> Perfect. I, actually, uh, fun fact: uh, you will actually die of water poisoning before the tea will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Not if it's okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so do let us sit and speak. Yes. And and he will he will wait until you've had a had a chance to take a seat. All right. And then he will sit in the armchair uh, across from you. Okay. Um, now, I apologize if I came up came across a bit abrupt. But um, the order, you may or may not know that the order ha has certain information about past deeds of your family. And in fact, I'm making a huge assumption that you know what your family has been engaged in in centuries past. Um, I am aware of our, my family's history. Ah, good. I... Are you aware of what the Fifth Amendment is all about? <laughs> Do you realize we're in feudal... That's a thing. <laughs> I literally just said I am aware of my family's history. Like, that's not... <laughs> that is not, not a, an not admission of guilt. No. Um, I'm good. I, I was afraid that I might have to shock you with unseemly history. Um, you are also very close to Prince Lars, I understand. Um, yes, there, um, he did propose uh, to marry me, so... Oh, I... That's interesting information. I was not aware of. I will certainly have to file that away. Um, uh, you mood entirely. Interesting. Sets the tea down. Um, this isn't this isn't tea from Lars, is it? <laughs> Yes, that's, I mean, obviously that's not the only reason that he's been in town, but no, he did uh, come uh, since I happened to be here. Yes, interesting. Um, I was actually hoping to speak with you about his other reason for being in town. He is um, searching for changelings in the area. I'm... I'm sure you were aware of that, uh, yes? Yeah, he did. Um, I had the interview earlier today, um, okay. and he did mention, yes, that he was uh, mm -hmm. searching for, if, uh, if I'd heard anything. He, he, he sort of sits back and leans back a little bit deeper in the armchair. During the course of that uh, interview, mm -hmm. I don't suppose he... Mm, no, he wouldn't have, because that's not common knowledge. I don't suppose you volunteered the information that your family has employed changelings in the past? I, I would assume that would... Um, not have gone the over didn't well. Come up. <laughs> ah, very shrewd, very shrewd, yes. <laughs> I didn't even know 
of that. So. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't think I'll take up any more of your time. I... I apologize, I was, I was unable to sim- help you. No, I... <laughs> I wouldn't say that you haven't helped me. You've been quite a big help, actually. Um, Just now I have your lip prints. <laughs> <laughs> They're my teacups. I will. Um, All the times these were dipped in poison, and I'm high enough, Monk level. I'm immune to poison. <laughs> I. Um, you've actually helped me more than you know. Um, I will say, uh, Lady Ito, that um, you are wise to perhaps withhold that particular information from Lars. He, not as big a hothead as his younger brother, but um, he probably wouldn't take too kindly to knowing that your family... The other one. (laughs) ...had a hand in... Most... Wait. Most people don't. That's why it... Right. ...is not public information. Right, and we are more than happy in the Apellian Order to keep that information I quiet. I would certainly <laughs> hope so. In return, um, if we need any small favors, it would um, it would not be unremarkable if I were to come to you. Consider it. To be my pleasure Excellent. to help you if needed. Excellent. <laughs> he stands yeah, that was weird. to leave. Who <laughs> are you, this guy? <laughs> oh, um, one more small thing. I understand yeah. that you've spent a good deal of time with one of my brethren from the order. Uh, a, a monk named Simia Lishi. You've been yes. seen. You wash your mouth. That you've so been <laughs> seen. You have been seen in her company quite often. Yes, uh, I have spent some time with. Her. Okay. Um, as I recall, in fact, you were outside the winery where she has been spending a good bit of time. Yes. Yes, we talked the other night. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yes, I believe she does spend a bit of time there. Okay. Good answer. Good. I I approve of that answer. <laughs> but I had other business. I understand. Rate. I understand. Um. You haven't seen her lately, have you? Um, Sorry, like, his his entire personality shifts to, like, a 17-year-old boy. You haven't seen her, have you? (laughs) (laughs) Did she talk about me? What did she say about me? (laughs) Can you tell her I like her? (laughs) Don't, like, tell her, tell her. Ask ask her! (laughs) Um, no, it's... professional, though. It's been a, it's been a, uh, a couple days since I, or, I, anyway, it's been a while since I've this seen her. This is the her. point where we are trudging through. Uh, <laughs> m- make a perception check real quick. Okay. No, no we would be, uh, this would be the first night in the tower. Yep. Your vision is just to go back. Sixteen. Sixteen? Um, you, you see a sort of a flash of red in the window behind him, and you recognize it as Ingear flying by your window. <laughs> wow. Uh, he tries his best. <laughs> Ingear just like slams into the window. If I do this at me, I'll be sure to send... Um, I'll be sure to send her your way. That would be most excellent. Thank you. Um, Certainly the next time I see her. By the way, I have a... I think he just died. (laughs) 
That will be most excellent. Thank you, my lady. Uh, I will open the door. And he will walk aw- walk out right. and keep walking down the hall. <laughs> um, I'm going to open the window. No, no so he was just, oh, he was just zipping oh. by. He wasn't oh, wow. trying to come in the window. Oh, he he created okay. a grand scenario. <laughs> 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 there. Yeah, Did you guys went off on your direction? own tangent. Sorry. We're even paying Did attention. Hmm? Did I see what direction? Uh... So far as you know, he just went... Uh... Okay, we, we, what are you asking about? I'm Which sorry. Which direction? Which direction what? Ingear went. Ingear went? Ingear went. Um, so, he, so he was... It looked like he was maybe circling the town center. Um, and then as... You know, if you peek out the window, you kind of see him settle onto one of the one of the um, uh, rooftops. He's covered in feathers. Watching. <laughs> no, no, I'm just a bird. So, so he's, I'm just he's, a bird. <laughs> he's he's positioned in such a way that he can watch people go in and out of the uh, of the town hall. <laughs> It's gonna be those, one of those. It's gonna nights. be one of those nights. Yes. It is absolutely <laughs> one of those nights. <laughs> but he, but yeah. So he's he's up on one of the the rooftops watching people come and go to the uh, uh, town hall. Okay. Um, a few minutes later, you do see um, Akari um, c- coming out of the front of the, the headless hydra. And walking across, walking across town in the direction of the <laughs> cloister. All right, we just have all of these great visions of ways that this poor derpy dragon is trying to look like a bird. It's awesome. <laughs> it's okay. Good, we've good already job decided on handling to be Batman. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes. Uh, I can't right. take these people anywhere. No, absolutely not. <laughs> that That's why we're here. <laughs> not even here. That's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> so so with so with that with you know with that interaction out of the way okay. how what do, how do you react what are you doing what do you <laughs> uh, <laughs> how do you yeah. respond uh, burn the end down what burn the end down <laughs> this time I make sure my deadlock is locked <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe off my tea set. <laughs> <laughs> you got it dirty. I sanitized the <laughs> Your presence okay. made me feel gross. <laughs> I feel gross. Now. Filthy monks. Filthy monks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> um, you not people, though. Yeah, I... Let's see. I don't have feelings. I'm not people. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, well, there's not really anything I... Can't do. Um, she's probably gonna just take a seat and and sit for a second and process everything that just happened. <laughs> okay. <sighs> yeah. All right. Um. With that, we will we, we will say that your timeline has sort of caught up okay. to them because they they were in the tower for a couple of days. Wow, so okay. three or, uh, anywhere between three to five. So so if you've got anything, you know, <clears throat> just general business as usual um, as normal, um, consider it done at this point. Um, if, if there's anything specifically you want to address, now would be the time. Okay. Uh... I'm guessing probably in the morning, the next morning, I would send a uh, message to Killian. Let's see. Um, you get 25 words. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, <coughs> I cry still looking for Simi. Mm. Uh, oh, that was sent to you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I that mean, was sent to Killian. Uh, <laughs> be careful. Okay. T. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's responding to this as he gets it. He's like, <laughs> weird word. <laughs> 
like the letter T or T the drink? <laughs> T the Did drink. Start back over again? <laughs> Is it twenty five? <clears throat> it, it, no, like it's twenty five words. It's twenty five words total. Each, each, each. each okay, each one. Like yeah, the drink. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Laura Bailey, for making us all count our words. Yes, now. <laughs> yes. It's all her yes. fault. Um. Nice looking ch stool, Killian. Oh, thank you. Yes. I've been working very hard on it. Do you Wait, need... sorry, are you watching his... I'm just passing by. Uh, no, Alma! <laughs> Not what he meant. Wooden stool, you... That would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you are a 13-year-old, Proofing aren't you? Being once again, Alma is a 13-year-old. <laughs> yes. Any news? Alma, have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> on the stool. <laughs> we have established You're not wrong, Chipper. ourselves in a fortified position. Could use furniture. <laughs> <laughs> I will make furniture. <laughs> Just I'm get here and make that. it. I'm not saying that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think about some furniture. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm okay. going to make them some furniture. Well, you could make in it my days. Okay, so over the course of the next couple of days, a couple of things you would notice in town is that the um, the interviews are continuing. Okay. Um, most of the people that come in and out spend about five, you know, anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes. Most of them come out looking quite relieved to not have been in there any longer um you do see kel get pulled in and interviewed his interview lasts a little bit on the short side so he, he's only in there about 10 minutes <laughs> and when he comes out he looks relieved but there's an undercurrent of him also being a little bit nervous. Mm. Um, okay. mm, so, so just be aware of that. Um, Akarai is not frequent in town, um, but he is around every so often. Um, when he's there, he more often than not, there are others of the <coughs> order around with him, and it, it seems more like doing business for the cloister mm -hmm. um, from what you can from what you can see from what you can tell um, the the framing for the new Iron Lotus building is actually coming along very nicely um, probably another week or two and they'll have the outside cladding on mm -hmm. uh, probably another week or two after that the interior will be done and it'll be ready for um, actual occupancy um, you do you do also catch sight a cup uh, of one one day uh, you catch sight of the riverboat that um, um, cabbages on um, make a trip into town um, it, it overnights on the dock uh, as cargo is offloaded and then um, the outgoing cargo is reloaded onto it um, you do see cabbage helping out with that process um, but she doesn't it, it looks like a real short turnaround so she doesn't have any time at all to come come ashore oh, okay. and visit um, because the very next morning in fact um, the ship casts off and heads back down the river. She's just avoiding James really, really, really. Well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you you do know that she is hardcore avoiding James. Poor James. <laughs> uh, for that matter, James has been very. Uh, from what when you've seen him, he's been like. Blinders on, tunnel vision, just okay. going to and from the, the 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 blacksmith shop, or helping to rebuild the blacksmith shop yeah. from where it burned down. Um, he he's been basically going there, or heading away from there, and with purpose, um, 
So doesn't meet anyone's eyes. Doesn't meet anyone's eye. Doesn't look at anyone. Doesn't talk to anyone that you see. Um, and yeah. Could. I... Okay. Yeah, I'm making furniture. I don't know. Oh, prob well, I guess Lars is busy, so. Mm -hmm. Drat. Drat. <laughs> oh, darn. Oh, She's so oh, upset. Oh, 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 darn it. Zuki's <laughs> just so upset. You could be hanging out with Febreze. <laughs> Except they're not in town. On our own. <laughs> they're doing the same thing we're doing. Yeah, yeah. that's right, that's right. Hiding. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> yep. Um, town, so I will be there. <laughs> all right. So yeah, I think that's um, okay. Think at this point. All right. So back Should out. Should probably go check on Kale and make sure he's okay. Okay. Like after she sees him. Yeah. Okay. Um, when you get to the shop, he. He is there, tending shop as usual. Um, you know, he's got a couple of projects out that he's working on. You know, doing things that he's he's pinning up, getting ready to um, getting ready to 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 finish tailoring. Um, and he when he's, he when the the bell rings on the door, he looks up. Ah, Miss Mizuki, how are you? I'm well, and you, so? Well, I won't lie. I've had better days, but. Um, you know how it is. I do. I do know how that is. Um. I don't suppose you've heard from Alma recently? Um, no, but, um, I will if I do hear. I'll let you know if I do hear. Excellent. I, I, he was all very mysterious when he when he left about where he was going <coughs> and so I yes. he, he did say that that uh, if we needed to, to contact him that we should do so through you yes absolutely um, not that I need to right sure. now but it's, it's been well there's some things I'd like to talk to him about let's just say <laughs> uh, it, it's not pressing and it can wait yeah. until he gets back into town but it, there's yeah, there's there's been some things I need to talk to him about. I'll I'll let him know. Um, make make me a perception check real quick. Uh, sixteen. You're not from around here, so you don't really. I mean, you know, Kel. Fairly well, but you don't really, really know him. Yeah. Um, it's a little unusual, though, you think, for there to be that bottle of dwarven whiskey in the shop. Oh, no, we're going to have to go to AA together. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, no it, it doesn't look like there's a lot out of it. But it's, there's definitely been some taken out of it, and you're pretty sure he doesn't normally keep alcohol in the shop. She would probably know. She's been in the shop enough that... <laughs> yeah. It, it, it stands out, okay. let's say. Um, Kel, if you... Uh, I mean... If you need a sponsor... <laughs> <laughs> If you need anything, I mean, is everything okay? Something <laughs> life. I think so. Maybe. But then again, I've been wrong before. I I really don't know. Um. Okay. Yeah, I really don't know. Is there anything I can do to ease? No worries. Can I put you out of your misery? It's, <laughs> it's, it's make this transition easier for It's you. not so much worries. I don't worries the wrong word. I'm uh, mm. helpless. More like fear. 
It's not even... <sighs> Just got a lot going on right now. And... Okay. Yeah. I got a lot going on right now. <clears throat> I think your parents are getting a divorce. <laughs> I think it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> it is your fault. Not because of the parent divorce, but you know why he's drinking. Um, Damn kids. Well, <laughs> yes, I his mean, firstborn. Just, I guess, I guess um, good luck. <laughs> That's well, rough, buddy. Yep. <laughs> That's That's rough, thank you. Money. I will take any amount of luck I can get. And please... <laughs> Don't hesitate to contact me if if there's anything I can help you with. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure that I even need help. <laughs> I. But then again, fight. I'm not sure that I don't need help either. I, as soon as I figure that out, You're done. I will Take let you know. Take care of yourself, Cal. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, let me know if you need help. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Slam. Okay. I'm going to go now. <laughs> okay. The tension of this room has risen about um, more than what I'm comfortable with. Also, uh, if, if you have time, uh, I would... I would, uh, perhaps, like, to order, um, I don't know if you've ever done, but perhaps a new kimono would be nice. I haven't made a kimono in, well, far too long since... Well, I haven't made a kimono in far too long, so I would be happy to do so. I would, of course, uh, provide the fabric. As you say. From my I... families. As you say, of yes. course. Yes. Um, I would be more than happy to do so, and we can... Uh, I suppose we sh I, I should... Um, hmm. We should set up a time for me to take some measurements then, yes? Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bring the tea. How about tomorrow afternoon? Tomorrow afternoon would be lovely. Excellent. I will clear some time in the shop. Yes, I shall put it on my calendar. And uh, uh, yeah, and that's excellent. It. <laughs> the door closes, and you just hear glug 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 glug. <laughs> All right. Yep. Uh, <laughs> she will make her way out. All right. Anything else? I don't think so. I don't think so. All right. Well, if it. If um. It... I guess she would. Uh, send with the sending stone. Uh, sent a message. Uh, to Killian, telling Alma that Kill would like to speak. <laughs> at some point. <laughs> All right, and I believe that is your third use of that it is for the day. Third use for the day. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. Which is Do you pass that along, or you just let it go? <laughs> well, I don't know. That depends. What are you doing at the moment? Well, I was sending you stool. <laughs> Alma is probably still working on stupid soldier costumes. Yeah. Oh wait, take it on then. It's gonna be like a week. <laughs> yeah. How many are we making? However much <laughs> fabric we had, I. <laughs> that many? There's only. Like. Seven. That, no, I don't think. I don't think there's. Well, there's five of us in the camp. Minus yeah. Siona's. Right, but you didn't tell Alma how many to make, and he sort of assumed that you wanted them for, like, all of the people were hiding. So he's going through all of the clubs. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's been working on this for several days at this point. Well, that's somebody else's problem. I'm making furniture. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm helping you, so it's yeah. going twice as fast. Yeah, we've made a lot. Yeah. Yep. What are we doing again? <laughs> I'm gonna help you with furniture because I I'm kind of over the sewing for a minute. Uh, Are you actually useful? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, Killian. Like, like, like can you make furniture? <laughs> We can find out, Killian. <laughs> make a ranged, make, make, make a ranged, ranged <laughs> make a ranged attack. Oh, okay. What are you guys Gosh, dang it! Wait. So there's this bobbin that flies just... and flies by in front of your eyes. <laughs> I'm really not a great shot. You don't want to start this game with me. You will lose. <laughs> what else do I have in my pockets? This, this is what happens when you decide to hole up in a random Thank you. fort in the middle of the woods with a bunch of crazy people. Great. Okay. Yes, I think that I'm probably reasonably so handy. So you, you've done a you've done a, a decently good job with this stool. However, traditionally, all three legs are supposed to be the same length. <laughs> There's a bobbin on the floor next to your foot. <laughs> Pick up the bobbin and throw it at you. <laughs> Make a ranged attack. <laughs> you, you should do better than I did. Uh, oh, I don't have ranged stuff on here as far as what happens when I throw things. Uh, that's just a deck? How does that work? Yeah, just a deck. It's a nat 20. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you get picked by a bobbin. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you weren't supposed Two points. to throw it that hard. Bludgeoning damage. <laughs> you didn't specify that. What? It's a bobbin. Did I need to? <laughs> Freaking duck! You know, I don't think I want your help any longer. I can I think stop. I can manage it just fine. Now, why don't you take you and your sorry excuse for a stool out of my oh. workshop? Wait, what about ducks? A it's duck a flies into the compound. Quack, 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 quack. Would quack, you like some quack. needles? It's incredibly suspicious, though. <laughs> <laughs> All ducks are suspicious. Hey, Danny, would you like some needles? Yes. Please, no. <laughs> Don't get mad at me because you can't measure the, leg, the legs of your stool properly. Okay, that's not my fault. Give me a handsaw. Absolutely not! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm off in the corner reading. Uh, you, are, you, are, the, you are bleeding a little bit? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> not! <laughs> I will sit on this stool, it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm gonna take it, my stool. It rocks a little bit. <laughs> It's a rocking stool. I meant to do that. Problem. How does that work with three legs? <laughs> I think it One leg's always up off the ground. <laughs> it was a three-legged stool where all the legs didn't match. <laughs> so now it's a rocking stool, and I totally meant to do it's that. It's just a slanted stool. Yeah. Well, this isn't awkward. <laughs> well, um, I'm going to take this and go downstairs. Tell me if you need anything. Sure. Um, oh, your dad wants to talk to you. Well, that. That's where we're Just at. letting everybody know where you guys are. Oh. Are you telling everybody in town where we are? Today? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. What? I, how do I. Okay. I don't think there's anything I can do about that right now. I mean, do you want to talk to him right now? If it's not going to, you know, give us away, but I don't think walking back into town right now is a great idea. Hmm. <clears throat> I had not thought Fair. about it giving us away. Uh, huh. um, well, uh, what do you think about all day? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Hmm. I've been, you've been building furniture for the last four days. Right, so that's what I've been thinking about. Huh. It's a fair one track, my man. <laughs> a problem will have to work. Anyway, I have this uh, stone you can talk to, and it'll. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this stone does not leave my sight. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm standing in front of you. <laughs> Hi, Dad. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> and it comes out. Of... <laughs> <laughs> right, so actually that's to Mizuki, but she'll relay it to your father, just so you know. 
I might have phrased that differently otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was getting to that part. Also, you can only send two more messages of 25 words or less. And she can't reply at this point. <laughs> no, she, she, she can reply. can reply to a message that is sent. I can reply. She just can't send any of her own. So yeah. you get two more of 25 words or less. Okay. It's going to pull out a pen and paper. <laughs> yeah. Same. Yep. Yeah. We're holding out here for the next two weeks. <laughs> I mean, unless <laughs> someone has an someone idea of what they want to do, do, yeah, I'm waiting for the people in town to go away. So it's Alma's going to for, just just to sit. Sit. Or for Inger to get back. Holding the stone. <laughs> we either wait for them to leave or we wait for Inger to get here. Which one will happen first? So is there like a delay on this? Hopefully we won't kill each other. Um, it's whenever she responds to your message. Gotcha. Uh, so I, I will respond. Uh, Alma, I'll let you... Uh, I'll let your dad know. Did I want to talk to <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, alright. We're just gonna play tag back and forth with this. Yeah. <laughs> you get one more. 25 words or less. Make it count. <laughs> Is it per person or just three uses per no, day? No, three uses per day. Three uses per day. We'll save it for just in case. <laughs> the real fun right part now. about this is you don't know how... <laughs> you won't know when she gets to, to Kel. Nope. No, no. Well, I mean, yeah. Just give it half an hour. <laughs> Alma's going to start playing with illusions, making like little animals run across the floor and stuff because she's got nothing better to do. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a lot of things. You're gonna Since draw. Apparently, I can't build furniture worth a hoot. Okay. Um, <laughs> gonna... Let's fast forward yeah. sometime. Sure, sure. Sure. Yep. Okay. How much? Let's get past the angst. <laughs> Let's get past. Um, Are we still alive? We're all stir crazy. We'll have the conversation between you and Kel off screen. Off screen. Okay. Okay. Later, um, it it is mm -hmm. going to involve basically him telling you that he's seen Akari, is conflicted about Akari, has been interrogated, and he thinks that maybe Lars suspects something. <laughs> but uh, we'll we will get to that. So, how much time passes for this quick jump? For our purposes here tonight, we're going to say that two weeks passes. Okay. And just, just real quick, would I uh, blocking with using training with my shield, blocking hits that are coming from my monk friend here? Could I count that as half the time, so I can just put one extra week of shield training? Yes, okay. I will do that then. Okay. That's all. Um, and how much? I'm at five weeks. So You're at five me. weeks. So oh. okay. He's practicing Sweet. with the shield, and he's getting punched by you. But I'm just throwing things at him and seeing if he. All right. So you've been, so you, um, Milo, have uh -huh. been sort of tracking the days, and you don't know. I mean, obviously. Ingear is way out of range at this point. You have yes. no idea if he's gotten where he's supposed to go. You don't know if if <laughs> he's found what he was looking for, where right. he was supposed to go. Um, in fact, <laughs> he was just pretending fact, to be a chicken on random. Rooms. Let let me ha um, here. Let, let's do it this way. Yeah. Um, Do it this way. Alma also practices gym. What is his AC? His AC? Yeah. 13. I practice snatching okay. midair. Alright. <laughs> and then I throw him back. <laughs> Not hard. The shiny rocks from the. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Um. 
so you so you've gotten to your two weeks. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do? It's sort of midday on it's midday on okay. the on the two week mark. <laughs> <So there. laughs> So two weeks have passed. Two weeks have passed. I mean, Alma's I suppose crazy at this point. about this time it's to bamf him back, right? I mean, if that was your plan. <laughs> All that time wasted. <laughs> he's just dead. He's one mile away. <laughs> well, no, he's supposed to go there and then... Yep. Oh, boy. Well, I mean, however far he got in is closer than where we are now. So. I have no idea how far he got. <laughs> I I know when he goes, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, normally, sure. but you've never had him this far away from you before. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> I see a quiet prayer. <laughs> to who? <laughs> Whoever's listening. <laughs> <laughs> that sort of thinking got you into this mess in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> to whom it may concern. To whom it may concern. <laughs> please let him be alive and I'll bamp him back. All right. <laughs> you want me to throw one up for Zoygen for you? It might I be can, too late. Uh, if he died like a week ago, there's I nothing can, that they can, I can do. Um... <clears throat> well, you're not there. I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> I mean, I saw him. You did see second. him. But that wasn't when he was heading. <laughs> Sure. Okay. Um, so you bamf him back mm -hmm. from wherever he was. Um, <laughs> how many hit points does he have? <laughs> well, if I'm taking the average because I don't roll his hit points, what are you? Seven? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he has more than hemorrhoid did. <laughs> True. Low bar. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I missed that rent. <laughs> so you, you you do the incantation to banth him out and bring him back. Mm -hmm. Now you're not sure if it's because he's a long distance away from you, <laughs> but it takes longer than it normally does. Oh. Okay. To to pull him back to you from wherever he is. Okay. He pops up on your shoulder, and one of his wings <laughs> has been shredded. <laughs> and there's little bits of like down stuck to him. Down. He was fighting with cuckoos. <laughs> And he looks Did he get up. Did an altercation with a sheep? Down. No. Down. Oh, feathers. 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 Bird strike. Bird strike. <laughs> and he looks up at you, and you, you get a sense that he's not happy. <laughs> and he sort of gazes at you, and you get a picture of him just tootling along merrily over this ice field. Uh -huh. and there is a tower in the distance. Oh, good. And then there's this shadow that descends over him. <laughs> and Talon, you feel the talons dig into his, into his wing and into one shoulder. And the world goes topsy-turvy. And he's looking at the underside of this hawk. And for, for like several long minutes, he's, he's just sort of flopping there, can't do anything. And then he gets plopped down in this nest with little hawklets around him, looking at them, looking at him, and licking their lips. Oh, no. <laughs> oh poor Igor. Right about the time he bamps out. Oh, oh buddy. Huh? I'm going to put like all this. four of my healing <laughs> hand points into him. <laughs> that just got a lot. Oh, here that's, that's, that's and, enough and, to... And start, like, picking the feathers and cleaning them. <laughs> He, 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 he turns around and turns his back to you on, his, on your shoulder. So you are seeing the hind end of a <clears throat> pseudo-dragon. Okay. 
Um, I'm not gonna let anyone know <laughs> at the moment. I might give it a day, <laughs> just you know, for him to calm down before I ask. Oh, I didn't need that. <laughs> I looked up a picture of birds with lips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh, the rabbit holes we go down, so people. The, the next day, I will uh, <clears throat> tentatively ask him if he was able to find a spot that we might be able to land on. Well, I mean, you did see the tower in his in that vision, <clears throat> okay. and he he's he's like. Me. Make me an insight check, real quick. Sure. Hold on. Because I'm great at insight. Natural 20. Nice. <laughs> he, he, I mean, he's, <clears throat> he's still a little upset with you. Yeah, okay. For sending him out there all by his lonesome. But, you know, he, right. he, he got the job That shouldn't done. happen again. For now. For now. Uh, I will head to the group then. Inger's back. What did you do to him? He's, he's No, he's at clean. this point, he's clean, he's, he's fine. Whole. Yeah. He's Th this Huzzah! is like the next day. <laughs> gotcha. Took a long enough. <laughs> well, it's a long way. Uh, I'm going to ask him to uh, send as much information to Sionis as possible. <laughs> Including the eagle. Not the eagle. Well, he might send the. I have no power over what he does. So he, so, so he's like. He he kind of shrugs at you a little bit, and he turns to Sionis, and Sionis is like, "Okay, yeah, I know." What the hell? <laughs> Animal cruelty, man. <sighs> you poor thing, and he, he's just kind of. Gonna kind of oh, pet on Ingear, and Ingear just sort of laps it up. He leans into it. Drama queen. Yeah, very much so. Absolutely. Is that enough? Uh, let me think. Um, yeah, probably gonna wind up putting you guys down. Looks like maybe five or six miles away from the tower, and just off the just off the glacier. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, anything else we need? We want to oh, invite well, <laughs> certain individuals. We had already decided that we needed to at least make sure that we stock up on gear and all that kind of stuff before we take off, right? Which we have no idea how we're doing. I mean, we can, we, not? Yeah, we can have Mizuki bring us the <laughs> supplies. Yeah. But are, did we uh, wait until this point to do that? Because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't know. Um, Depends on if Killian if we decided to, to like bring stuff or not. I mean, would we have thought to bring stuff like at the ten day mark? We had discussed bringing stuff. Before. We talked about. It. I don't yeah, think yeah. we came up with a plan though. No. Because I forgot that that was... So, Killian, do you want to send Mizuki a message to get us supplies and then come meet us here and then we'll bam forward to the glacier? Are you waiting until the very end of this two-week period to ask me this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me, let me get this straight. You think it's a good idea for me to ask Mizuki... To bring us, and I quote, supplies, so that we can then teleport off to this glacier with the tower. Yes. And you just want her to bring you supplies. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, if that's what you want, good news, I think I've got you covered. I have lots of supplies in my bag. Okay. Cold weather supplies? Oh, no, we were just talking about supplies. No, 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 this, this needs to be specifically... Oh, is there weather. something specific you'd like? Would you like something other than supplies? <laughs> Look, man, I was given everything in my life. I don't know what I need. <laughs> <laughs> when I needed it, I was given it. 
I we might be able to make like cold weather coats and stuff. Not unless he has the fabric we don't for have, it. Yeah, we don't have the fabric for it. Yes, we need cold weather gear, like you know, clothing and rations that would be appropriate and okay. things for me. Possibly, or we could just go. Possibly climbing gear. No. With <laughs> Are you just gonna leave Mizuki? No, this is player Braden trying to get Mizuki back into the Yeah, I know. I know. So, <clears throat> I, just just so I'm clear, because I've been busy, you know, furnishing our new living arrangements. Engir has returned to us. Yes. With the location of the tower. Yes. Yep. And you decided that. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> now that he's returned, <laughs> now we should ask Mizuki. To get supplies together and bring them out to us. You do realize that's going to take like another four days, right? You realize this was a conversation we had a while back that you didn't actually partake in. I was so asked to furnish our new <laughs> living arrangements. <laughs> no, no, you, you did your own. Uh, so he was I did, not here I that week, guys. <laughs> I did make some furniture. So now would be okay. a very convenient day for you to just show like, up with the furniture. So I mean, <laughs> sure, I can ask her, do you want to get me a list of what we want? Or do you want me to just ask her to bring us <laughs> stuff? stuff? Just stuff. We'll get you a list. Thank you. That would that would be helpful. Um, yeah, I want to punch you so bad. What's our, uh, what's our plan once we get there? We... Storm the castle. Store, store, well, not necessarily. <laughs> we seek an audience. I feel like we that's going to go We seek an really audience well. with yes. the evil wizard. Maybe we should witch. talk witch. to the naughty witch. With the evil witch. Out in middle of nowhere. In the tower wizard? that flies. Out in middle of nowhere. Female wizard. And uh, now, now, just, just, I want to, I want to get my story straight here. Right. Isn't, isn't this the same evil person who massacred an entire army of goblins and other nasty things in front of you? <clears throat> to be fair. We also have massacred a good number of goblins. Have we and massacred goblins. as many as she has? Not yet. No. That her so, we're, we're we're making our way. so our plan is to go to said person who killed the people who brought her what she wanted and ask her to talk with us. So, no. I, I mean, she killed goblins, but she can't what? be all that evil. I kind of feel like maybe we have a valuable <laughs> she resource can't be that all we should that evil. <laughs> I think I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think talking to our valuable resource Silas would is be expendable. a good idea. <laughs> no, he's not. I need him. Uh, Silas is not Silas. here, or I would not have said that. Also, his name is Sayonis, but I, okay. Yeah. That's not what he went by in town. Yeah. It takes me a minute to change gears, okay? Also, if you we'll introduce yourself call to somebody Sionis to me, that's over. what I'm going to call you. Okay. If we have to call everyone by the names they've gone by in town, your name just became unpronounceable. <laughs> <laughs> see, see me. Adrian. No. Silas! I already called him. Yeah, so he's he's already walking over. <laughs> Just open the door and yell, Oh, hi. There's a door? <laughs> I've been busy, man! <laughs> Fair. It Fair. is now furnished! <laughs> okay. Sorry. It's okay. What? Why are you looking at me? We know that I am like the uh, most sorry, awkward person Certain in individuals tower. of the group have questions for you. Yes. We... We need to know how to one. best... Oh, gosh, I'm awkward. Why am I talking right now? We need to know how to sneak up on your ex-lover or whoever the hell she is. Wait, that was not an inaccurate description. <laughs> um, like, how do we get into the tower? How do we, how do, we do this? You're clearly a very capable whatever the hell you are, so... What is her weakness? What do you most desire? <laughs> Large books of exotic origins? You're not wrong. Books. Um, I mean, she's really interested in... I don't suppose any of you know anything or have any 
like insight into the multiverse. <laughs> do you? I do. I think it's a load of hooey. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not going to get you very far with with her. I, I actually, am aware of the multiverse. Um, I mean, I was kind of saving this to delve into later, but and I will flip open my bag and pull out this giant like duffel body bag thing and drop it on the ground. The hell! And open it, and on ice, frozen, is a body of a kobold. Oh. I do have this. You just kept it? Huh. Well, yeah. I was. I would like to know more about them, but by the time we got back to town, uh, things got a little hectic, and I did not have time to properly look at this. Okay. Huh. Okay. 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 Everybody looked at me weird when I tried to take one back. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't tell any of you that I was taking one <laughs> But no, I, I think taking one is a fantastic idea. I... D- yes! So, um, we, we have this. Die. Interesting. Um, that might prove useful. Uh, I'm not real sure where her um, research has taken her in the last hundred or so years. Well, but I'm sure we can discuss that. But so, yes. I'm gonna I mean, these away things are connected to the, the one and the two and the three and the four and the one. Yeah, however that works. What? Uh, and the one and the two uh, and the three and the four. I would have explained what the one Oh, the okay. okay. Um, <laughs> so, so let me get this straight. We're still banking on the idea of being able to walk up there and talk to her about Oh, something? I don't know. Is that what we're banking on? That's my plan. That wasn't my plan. I'm gonna guess no. I was just gonna go get the box. And how were you gonna do that? Invisibly. Right. Like, walk me through that? I turn invisible. Uh huh. I go find the box, and I come back while Adrian is talking. So uh. You How forget long? where the door is, right? 500 yeah. feet to the top? How are you talking to her then? Make I play a, what? <laughs> <laughs> make, me, make me an intelligence check. I was just going oh, to talk to her while I go get the box. I'm just going to yell at the tower. <laughs> Four. <laughs> okay. I was planning on knocking on the tower and hoping that she comes down and we can have a chat. Or... I could hand uh, Simi a thimble and she can throw it at the door because clearly that's very effective. Well, how about, how about we get right there now? first before no, no, we decide? Right. <laughs> well, how about we get there first? So we... let's assume that we talk <laughs> to the evil witch, <laughs> mm-hmm. or while we're talking to the evil witch, someone steals the box. Then what are we going to do? Then we have an evil witch following us everywhere. Can we just kill the witch? That assumes we leave, we get out well, of the, the tower. Can we kill the gold. witch? Can we kill the witch, Mr. Fancy Pants? Uh, <laughs> do you care if we kill the witch? I mean, I don't, but... Are you sure? <laughs> I don't know if you can. Can you? Uh, might be able to. Oh, if, I, okay. if we can catch her by surprise. Uh, oh, that's good. Let's, the, the let's just so let's pretend we have the box. What's our plan now? Uh, we oh, leave. We head. Great. Where do we go? Okay. <laughs> oh, we go back here. And so what do we do when she comes here for the box? Oh, Why is she coming here? Well, we, she found the box once, and not it's not going to take a genius to figure out who took it from her. You know, the people who followed her all the way out to where her tower was. I thought that you couldn't scry this place. No. <laughs> you can't scry one of the rooms in this place. So we put the box in there. Okay. Good. Okay. That problem is now solved. <laughs> Right. Cold weather gear is the more immediate part. Yes. Yeah. I love how condescending he is, but how incredibly quickly it shuts down. <laughs> like, oh, fair. No. Okay. I don't have a problem if you guys come up with a good plan, but Killian's kind of like, so what exactly is the plan? Okay. I'm seeing some holes. Uh huh. Um, so yes, let's uh, let's get in contact with Mizuki and go ahead and get her out here. Um, I I know what I am having. I will help you 
make your list since you apparently don't know <laughs> what the heck is happening right. with life. Wait, why is he making the list at all? The list in total has to be 70 words or less. Yes. That shouldn't be hard. Good. I, I just, that, that's how, that, that's the limit of me being able to say, need you to come, bring, and then you have 70 words to work with. Well, yeah. we need three. Warm clothes for everyone. Uh, that's two Climbing words. gear. <laughs> and that's Actually, four words. warm clothes for everyone is four words. Mm -hmm. Well, four things then. And, uh... <clears throat> Might I suggest that since we're going to a glacier <laughs> here, the uh, I, I suggest the warm clothes should be like all white to help blend in. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to sneak up on her, but I'd, uh, not, I'd also like to circle back around to the um, how we get in the tower. Yes, um, we don't you have explosives? No. no! no! <laughs> explosives, no. Kira. We don't have to go like. Attack mode, we can talk is. to her diplomatically. We have things we can exchange for things. Do we? Yes. Other than a body of a dead lizard that she may or may not no. be interested in. Look. <laughs> in exchange for her, for her giving us the box, you give she her can... the heart thing. No. We... <laughs> or the blood that... thing that's all dried up. That could be an option. No, we, uh. We. Uh. The, I'm looking for a word. Give me a second. <laughs> this is Brayden. Brayden's looking for a word. Uh, we share in an expedition into the door we saw. Nope. So your plan is to petition the lady that we watched, that you watched massacre, an entire army of minions that worked for her, that she should. Come with us, and we'll show her where the Dwarven city is. Right. That's your plan. Yes. Um, all in favor of that plan. No. Nope. Um, you realize yeah, that there's so. 50 people that she can't know are there currently, yes? Hey, guys. Also, what keeps her from just killing us anyway? So, no. we know that yeah. there's a super powerful, magical person uh -huh. in a tower there. Yep. Can we maybe <laughs> sick Ecker <Akaranar? laughs> Can can we maybe sick the the soldiers on them and have somebody sneaking in during the fighting? I mean, it'll take them like a month yeah. to get there. Okay, okay. so so there. yeah. First of all, that'll take a little bit of time. Yeah, I'm not opposed to this idea, <clears throat> but general, no. I don't think that the soldiers are going to pose much of a threat. Because if, she's, how many go. if she starts losing, the tower oh, just flies away. And I did watch a whole bunch of golems just... Yeah. 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 I, I don't think the answer is bring an army. I like where your head's at, but I, See, I, I don't think do that's that the best play the goblins, here. goblins, but... Yeah. No, that would have been a better idea with the goblins yeah. than with the witch. Exactly. Yeah. I mean... Um, I still think my plan's all right. So walk me through. Once we show her the dwarven city, uh, why doesn't she kill us? Uh, because Wait. we are the fodder for whatever might be down there. I don't think she needs fodder. Is there a way we can keep the tower from taking off? You can hold on real tight. I don't know, Sayonis. No. Is there a way to keep the tower from flying? <sighs> Not from the outside, no. From the inside? I mean... Yes, if you take over the control room. There's a control, There's a control room. room. This is information. <laughs> Sionis, would you like to tell us everything about the inside of this tower? I'm actually going to pull out a piece of paper. Can you draw me a map? No. A rough outline? Not really, because Sketch. it sort of moves around inside. Of course it does. And it, the walls can move, and... Nothing is ever the same place twice. That has to be terribly inconvenient. Well, if you're in charge of the tower, you know where everything is. Or you can just make it come to you, if that's the case. Yeah. Why have I never thought that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I'm going to start scribbling down some notes. It's like a turn... 
Uh, <laughs> what is that called? The Lazy Susan. Do we want to, while yeah. we're discussing this, do we want to send a message to uh, Mizuki? Uh, if you so have a list of everything you'd like, sure. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's a control room. How complicated is it to use it? Depends on how fancy she's gotten. Let's assume very fancy. That seems like a safe bet. If it's very fancy, then you'll never figure out the control sequence. But what if we just push all the buttons? Uh, That's a good way to blow the tower up with you in it. Can we? I've heard of worse ideas. Send Inger to push press all the buttons. All the buttons? <laughs> <laughs> Is Inger in the room when you ask that? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm Inger. Not, no, we don't. We need can to... we can bring you out before it blows. Maybe. Probably. Or we could throw a badger in there. Oh. Actually. <laughs> and a raccoon. I sense a diversion. Um, mm. That's not the worst idea. Go, badger! I've ever heard. Badger, I choose you! <laughs> so. Do we want to make a plan for how we're getting into the tower and what we're going to do and all of this fun stuff? Or Because so far I've heard one <clears throat> really bad plan and some good ideas but not much of a cohesive structure to how we should actually tackle said problem. Okay, so step one, we need to be able to sneak-ish up to the tower. Um, yeah. Being able to have... Cold weather gear in the appropriate colors will help. We need let's, what? I'm not a magic key person. You magic key people tell me like, it, are there ways that that we can be detected without like scrying and I mean, eyes? If she's up like 200 feet, it doesn't take magic. There you go. Also, in theory, yes, uh, <laughs> my sand table could just sense living beings in the vicinity. Is there a way that you could override your sand table? Like, could somebody hack that? Like, well, what would we need to there's do? There's covering yourself in lead. Ooh. That seems... <laughs> but that's not the best solution. Yeah. Uh, Sionis can do his little anti-detection thing oh, he's been right, doing for right. you, yeah. but I don't know if that's gonna... I don't know if he can do that for everyone for long enough. How big is your anti-detection thing to merge giblet? It's a single person. It's a single person. <laughs> and you, we definitely have to keep from being detected. Sorry. That, no, no, it's fine. Don't be sorry. It's not you, it's him. <laughs> yeah, that prick. <laughs> yeah. 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 Why don't you try that a second time? Wait, what? <laughs> I asked for a list of things you'd like. This is not a list of things you'd like. This is a letter you'd like me to read to Mizuki. Yes, you said to, to try that. five words. You're just going to list stuff off without telling her... Yes, I'm going to say, come to us and bring, and then I will list off each of Straight the things. Straight to the point. Okay. <laughs> 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 We're going to have to get what? you less flowery. What kind of letter was it? Was it a love letter? No, no, it was a... Alma drops all three balls. Wait. <laughs> nope. Wait. I'm just curious. Nope. Is it, it was is definitely it a rival brother thing? <laughs> it's right. a very boring, normal... Just, hi, how you doing? Uh, uh, you, you basically, hey, we, we're going to go get a thing, bring warm clothes, come to us. <laughs> I mean... Make your list. <clears throat> I'm done. <laughs> Oh, great. Help. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need any. Actually, boots would be nice. Okay. You don't need clothes that keep you... You made this! <laughs> and he's wearing a puffy coat. One of the, like, penguin coats. Is that warm? Oh, yeah. Oh, so it actually changed... Like, it, it's not, like, an illusionary... Oh, okay, okay. Oh. It shifts I, I thought, the same I way that Alma's skin does. I thought it was, like, an illusionary yeah. thing, so I was like... 
Yeah, it walk, looks warm. Walk it out naked. <laughs> um, I don't else? need. Sort of. I don't need winter Besides clothes. You don't need winter no, stuff. No, okay. I will be fine. For five people and herself. Mm-hmm. So we get to the tower. Yep. What's our plan? Hey, you guys! <laughs> oh, travelers. <laughs> I suppose we try and talk to her first. Okay. Just knock on the Still having to get to the tower the first. Well, presumably we're... How close do you think we're going to wind you up? You said getting? five miles. Five or six miles was the close, closest I'm going to be able to get I mean, to. I've never bad. been to a glacier. Badger. What's it like traveling over one? Badger and raccoon? <clears throat> no. Again... Good idea, but you want me to just throw them at the tower? Like No, I'm just saying put it in the, the list. list. Oh, no, no, I have those with me. Oh. oh. Those are in my bag. Oh. Huh. How? Uh, okay, uh, maybe I was not clear. <laughs> I ransacked my entire shop and stuffed every useful bit of anything I could into my bag before I left. Yeah. Because I may not get to go back. Or they might burn it down. That would be sad. So I disassembled every magic item in there. I hid Roger in the basement, and I grabbed every useful thing I owned. That's her. Um. So okay, so we have that. I don't have to ask for the badger and the raccoon. Um, what other? I can have her check and see if she can find some healing potions. I don't think there'd be any in town. Mizuki is a healing potion. No, that's that's, that's <laughs> true. I think that's all we need. Spellcasters, do we have anything that you need for your spells that you don't already have? I usually just use this crystal. No, nope. I don't know how this works. I've got instant fire, so I'm good. You people are weird. Okay. No, you totally lit me on fire. You've seen that already. <laughs> we can't no. fire. It was an accident. I stand by my Ish. comment. You people are weird. <laughs> no, nobody. No, I, it's all in my bag. Okay. <laughs> Rations, climb gear. Um, I think that should be it. Alma boots. So how are we climbing <clears throat> up the tower with climbing gear? Are we sure that will work? No. no. Well, I figured climbing here would be good. Just the glaciers. In case. Oh no no! I I, um, I I just wanted yeah. to make sure before we planned on climbing up the tower if we knew if that would actually work. Because if I built a magic tower, I'd probably consider making it unclimbable. We could try to bring her down to us by offering her something, and then once she's out, to accept what we have. I'm sure the dragon would help. Maybe what? she would be his dragon thing. Yeah, like we we could offer something and then have her oh, come yeah, okay. down to us her. and okay. come out. Do we do we think that she's going to be interested in something we have? So maybe we, a we have some or can something we can get. Or maybe maybe a she? no person? we we have something we can give her. Oh she, no! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're not we're not prostituting Silas. You're not prostituting. No, um, sorry. Also, no, I, no. I don't want to rain on our little parade here, but if say if something happens to Sayonis, we're trapped on a glacier and have to walk With all the way the back. With a crazy witch. Well, so I think uh, well, we we have, we, I think we the can, goal should be keeping him out of harm's can, way so can, that we have a... No, that's fine. Something, but something we can give her name. if she helps us with this expedition. Yeah, this, the dried blood thing. No, we can give her the hammer. Screw that! No! What do you mean, no? No. None no. of us are going to use it. It says who? So first of all, I know several people who would like to have the hammer, and I like them more than her. Second of all, the evil witch lady wants the hammer, so I'm not particularly inclined to give it to her. I don't think anything good is going to come out of that exchange. Yeah. Thirdly, we are once again left with the problem of why doesn't she just kill us and um, go get it herself? That's true. Also, I really like the idea of killing her and taking her tower. But first you had to get to her. Yeah. I, that's your problem? Yeah, getting to her is easy. Her. The problem is killing her. I mean, he said he'd yeah, be that, able to. Yeah, that part is true. <laughs> How about Maybe we first decide on to get there first? Silas, how do we set a trap for this woman? You know her. 
Sionis. You have a whole bunch of really cool books. Are any of them rare enough or special enough that she doesn't have one? Any of them useful? I mean, I've got a couple, maybe. But she's also been around as long as I have and has seen most of what I've seen. Be How much does she like you? Now? Yes. Not a lot. <laughs> How much does she hate you? Quite a bit. Oh. See, that's useful. See? How important is that staff of yours to you being able to use your magic? Very. Oh. Okay. Can we reproduce one? How like hard this? would it be to make something <laughs> that looks... That's cool! Yeah, yes, it is, except... Oh. It doesn't exist. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so magic magic how so hard weird. would it be to Just make something look... Magic. Okay, let, let me pitch my full idea. <laughs> so, we go to said lady. We offer to parlay with her. What we offer her is some valuable books from your collection. Okay. And we make it look like we have your staff. And we say that you have... Um, Expired. expired due to our actions and we were reading through your notes and learned about her and we want to come and make a deal or something along those lines like so obviously we we don't actually kill you and we tr we make something that would appear to be your staff as if you were dead if she hates you enough she might be willing to come talk to us because we come bearing news that of your infant uh, demise Do you think she'd go for that? She might. I'm worried that she might send one of her minions instead to check up on the information and not sh show herself. But it might work. So what if what if part of our deal is that we won't actually we won't give her enough information to check up on you unless she's willing to meet with us? Because we our goal here is to lure, let her have her give us access to the tower. Right. I'll just take off without her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Bye. it's worth a try. I mean, you know her better than any of us. Is is she the kind of person that that would appeal to? Is she the kind of person who would be more excited about hearing about your death that she would be less cautious about a bunch of strangers showing up? I think she would still be wary. Oh, of course. But, mm -hmm. I oh. mean, she would be... It would certainly pique her curiosity. Okay, so... Given <clears throat> our history. We, we have to make this sound believable and we have to come up with a good excuse why we were involved with the death of Sionis and now want to meet her. So first of all, Sionis, what sort of thing would we have to tell her happened to convince her that you were dead? I have kind of gathered that you're kind of difficult to kill. Yeah, I am kind of... And she would know that? Nope, nope, I got it. So the little lizard people, uh -huh. um, I don't know how many of us are aware of this, have a device of some sort that drains people of their magic. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. And when yeah. I say drain, I mean a friend of ours can no longer use magic last I talked to her. And she was only on there for a week or two. Interesting. And they, they sort of, they peel the magic from you to fuel their own power. I'm assuming something like that would explain why you are no longer alive. That would do it, yeah. Okay. Enough of us... Okay, alright, so what if our story is that we were working for you, looking for the dwarf place, because obviously that's what you were here for. Uh, you got captured by the kobolds and have since expired, and we still want to find the Dwarven City, so that's why we're coming to her. Sure. If we do that, we are absolutely going to have to kill her, though, because if she continues to follow us, she will find all of the things. Oh, absolutely. Or we have to come up with... 
We have to convince her to go somewhere else looking for the Dwarven city. Well, we have the box? Mm, she doesn't need to know that we have the box. Ah, so we're still going with that plan. <laughs> but she's got the box. But I've seen what's in the box, and with Mizuki's help, I'm confident that we can make a replica. Awesome. Now... Have we messaged her yet? No, no I'm still waiting still on a list of supplies. Well, um, I have the supplies. I'm not sure if we need more for your plan, <laughs> but that's the basics, at least. Supplies. She wrote it. I think we'll... We'll hold off till we know for sure what all we want. That was That's yes. why I was waiting, because yes. I wasn't sure yeah. if we needed yeah. metals or so, whatever. We have metal. Now, Keith, I used Detect Magic on the items in the box when I first got it. You did. Were they magical? No. Okay. So she wouldn't vote as well. Ah. Yep, so they weren't magical. And I did I get a, have I gotten a good enough look at what was in the box that I could make a replica... How confident um, would I be in that ability? Make me an intelligence check. Just a straight intelligence? Straight intelligence check. 19. You're fairly confident that you could recreate the contents of the box. Okay. So... Box isn't magic. Nothing in the box was magic. Last I looked. We can swap our fake box for her box. So what this will require is we have to get into the tower. Uh -huh. We have to... Some of us have to be able to somehow sneak away or otherwise... Not get, die? Yeah, not die and get past her. Find the box. Switch the box. And the last part of this plan is we need to come up with a really good excuse for why she doesn't immediately hunt us down when she figures it out. So... I think that we're not going to be able to find that excuse. I think she's going to hunt us down when she figures it out. Too. Well, so here's what I'm thinking. Unless we want to try and take her by surprise and incapacitate her. Don't know if we can or not. Mm-hmm. I think she's going to want to know what we know about the Dwarven place. Because I'm assuming she doesn't know where it is. Because if she knows exactly where she's going, then she's already there and we're screwed anyway. That's true. So I'm going to assume that she doesn't know for sure where she's going, given that no one we've met actually knows what they're doing. We, she'll want to know what we know. But she won't want to actually take us with her. She won't actually want mm -hmm. to let us get anywhere close to it. She'll want to find out what we know and then get rid of us. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So if we can come up with a convincing enough pretend things we know to send her off in the wrong direction, then hopefully that'll keep her busy for long enough that we can prepare for her. How big is this box? Back. It's like... Okay. Is this where we might be able to use uh, a city's forces against her to a degree? No, the the city, we can't do the city's forces. No, and, and again, well, I, as much as I forces. love I, I think if an army marches against her, she'll either leave or she'll slaughter them. Yeah. She'll probably do the exact same thing she did with the goblins. Goblins Summon a ton of stone golems we and may, massacre may not be down there. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sayonis, you met the woman. What do you, you, what do you think of that plan? <laughs> Even <right. laughs> You'll have to be very, very careful laying a, the breadcrumb trail for her to follow. Do you have any other better ideas of how we could deal with her? Yeah, you're supposed to be like really smart, right? Why have you been so quiet this whole stupid time? I do talk a lot. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, I was just listening to you guys hash this out. And you were doing fine. You didn't need my help. Because I'm sure you want the box <laughs> as bad as we want the box. I won't lie. I'd like to get a gander at what's in that box. So if you were going to try and get the box from her, how would you do it? You don't want to know how I do no, it. No, no, I do. Well, I guess plan A would, would involve me groveling a good bit and telling I'm her that I was wrong a c 
couple of centuries ago and oh, begging her to take me back. Big. Okay. But I'm not sure that my knees could handle it right now. Okay. Let's assume that that doesn't work. Wow. Okay, then. Um... Plan B, when that didn't work, is she would lock me in irons in her dungeon and I would have to escape that. Kinky. Yeah. You have no idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> she would just kill you. I guess 300 years is a lot of time to experience. Mm. Yeah. It, it's not about you. killing, it's about power. <laughs> she's, she's all about the power place. Mm -hmm. ah, indeed. Okay. So we saw her kill a whole bunch of goblins and other a whole army of stuff. If she likes being in charge and having power over people, why would she just kill them? Because she hates goblins. Ah. So if it wasn't, let's pretend it was an army of I don't know, regular people. What do you think she would have done with them? No, she probably still would have slaughtered them, too. Just because? She because she's also a sadistic too. bitch. <laughs> well, at least you, you know, know how what's to pick one. them. Yeah, mm. good job, buddy. Eh, everyone's got their kinks. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Huh. I only uh. played a, 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 a school teacher. Come on, guys. <laughs> I'm really disturbed now. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh. Okay. Um. Cap, okay. do you want to send the message to? Well, no. We still we still don't know. Like I've laid out a plan, but there's some big problems with the plan. There's gonna so. always be problems with plans. That is true. So is do we guys do we feel confident enough in that plan? Is that the one we want to run with? It's the best one we have right now. Yeah, I think it's the only one we got right now. I would yeah. like to, however, take a moment to convene with Zoygan if he's going to bother freaking answering me, and uh, like, I'm just, I know this sounds yep, dumb, yep, but no, I'm gonna do your yep. <laughs> so say onus, humor me. Suppose I got up the giant tower to the door. That I can't open. Suppose that I found a way to open it. Okay. Is 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 there such a a way? Is this the sort of door that I could find a way to open, or is this is this something that only she can let people in and out? Can be forced open. Because the other plan is we don't talk to her at all. We sneak in and get it without her knowing who it was. It's hard to say. I haven't been near her tower in uh, I guess about 250 years or so. Last time you were there. Last time I was there, there was still a way to open it from the outside. And And what was that way? Secret lever. No, no, it was an incantation, and um, I want to say, I want to say it was, and he, you know, he, he spills out. Oh, wait, 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 um, write it down. Okay. And, and, and he'll, uh, he'll, international he'll, phonetic alphabet <laughs> pronunciation guide, please. The pronunciation guide. <laughs> well, the the problem is the the alphabet has power too, and that's part of it. Um, uh, and he 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 writes out um, the the magical runes, and then he's put sort of a phonetic pronunciation beneath it. Um, it is no language that any of you have ever. Have ever seen or heard of that? Put it, okay, so plan. B, Assuming she hasn't changed it. All right, right. Of course, yeah. of course. We we won't know till we try. But plan B is well. Actually, I say plan B, but this is not in B. case plan A fails. This is another alternative. We figure out a way to get on to the tower without having to talk with her. 
we open the door, we sneak in, we find the box, we switch the box, we leave. Okay. I'm guessing inside is not going to be a lot of room to hide. It's enough room that it moves around. Mm. I, I, ch mm. I... The the upside with this is we don't have... She doesn't have to know who it is. Sure. I mean, I'm sure things will go wrong and she still might find out, but the upside here is if it works, she doesn't have to know anything about us. She doesn't have to know who we are, why we're there. We don't have to come up with an elaborate <sighs> trail to send her off on. We just switch the box. She doesn't know the difference Tell. she tries to use it and realizes it doesn't work. That tracks. <clears throat> yep. I don't hate that, and I don't have anything better. So it just depends which of those are we do we feel like is a better idea. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of, I kind of, if we go with plan A, I think it's inevitable that she will eventually come back to get her revenge on us, I and I don't is. like the idea of having to constantly look over my shoulder for this evil witch to show up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like plan B more. And the backup's just going to have to be, though, because we can't really switch to plan A from plan B in a pinch. Well, that depends if she... Kind of depends on how she catches us. Right. But the more likely scenario will end up that plan B becomes plan C, which is we got to try our best to not die and take her down. Yeah, I think plan C is we try and kill her. So yeah. speaking of which, Sayonis... Mm -hmm. Walk me through. How hard is it going? Let's let's say I find myself having to try and kill her. What are we uh, What are we talking about? Well, she'll have some fairly nasty um, spells prepared. Okay. Um, yeah. So you'll want to. You'll definitely want to stay out of her way, out of her line of sight, if possible. Let, let, assume that we can't, assume that we have to fight her and try and kill her. Walk me through, like, what, what's, what sort of firepower are we talking about in terms of killing this woman? What, what would I have to do? Do I have to take her staff from her? Do I have to... Uh, that, that would be a good start, yes. Um, if you could... If you could figure out some way to get her into daylight, you might have an advantage on her. What? Is she a vampire or something? No. Um, did I not no. tell you that she's a dark elf? Oh. Wait. <laughs> do I guess we were too far to know that she was a dark elf. Never mind. No, you managed to neglect that sentence. Oh, no, no, you did not. <laughs> oh, okay. You well, did anything with the dark elf? Did you hear our plan B? No. Nope. Uh, Don't judge. Alternative plan. He is kinky. <laughs> we find a way to get up to the door without rude. talking to her. <laughs> okay. We assume that there is some way we can get it to open. He knew an, an, an incantation that used to open it, but, you know, assume we can get the door open. We sneak through her tower, find the box, switch the box, leave hopefully without her knowing. Upside, we don't have to constantly be waiting for her to come wreak her revenge on us. Do you have explosives? No. Why not? Gee, I don't know. Why don't I carry around substances that could blow up? That's a good question. I thought you did. I mean, to be that fair... That blow up? No, I have some that light on fire extremely fast. Isn't that kind of similar? No, it's not... As Similar, someone as saying. someone who has blown things up on accident. No. Could you make some? I... It is more Maybe. of a just in case if we need a quick getaway. I don't think an explosion is going to save our lives. Depends on how big it is. She has magic. I, I don't think, unless I create a giant magical explosion, which will take me a lot more work and time, mm. I don't think if we're going to come up with something that's safe for us to carry around that is a big enough explosion and causes her a problem. Yeah. Okay. Well, trial and error, I guess. Mm. So. And hope we don't die. Yep. <laughs> Again. Sneaking into the tower, talking to her, which one do we all feel more comfortable with? Talking. Sneaking first. One to one. There are votes Wait happening in. here. You should 
voice an opinion. I think we should try sneaking to the tower. If she catches us on the then way to Then we switch, it, yeah, I like that. I like where you're thinking. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my general thought on that. Which one do you feel more comfortable with? Well, we sneak to the tower. If we get caught, then we talk. And while you guys talk, I go find the box. So I guess uh, sneaking Sayonis, anyway. Sayonis, um, we haven't asked you yet. Are you going to come with us to the... T I mean, I assume you don't want to go in because she hates you. Well, if I'm there, then your plan of... Telling her that I've died doesn't right. work. Yeah, yeah. So are you wanting to teleport us, teleport, like, are, are you going to sit around and wait for us there? What are you thinking? I'm thinking I can open the circle for you, get you there, and then at some predetermined interval, reopen the portal for okay. you to get back. So... Actually... In which she, case, I should yeah, exactly. stay if, here. If Mizuki yeah. comes back, we will... We will take Mizuki's Sending Stone yes. and give her yours, so you and I will have a way... That will be even better, message. yes. Okay. So, sounds like our plan is try and sneak in. If that fails, pretend we were there on purpose. <laughs> yeah. So we're still going to need a couple books and a fake staff. We'll have to discuss that to make... Something that we'll be out four days. days. Well, to, yeah, it'll be four days or something like that from Mizuki. We need Mizuki, Mizuki so. to make the decoy stuff. Yes. I need her help to get it. You know yeah. what she needs, and I do not. This is just basic gear Kay. that I know that humans need. You or or people. I'm okay, sure. so we also gathered metal. Well, you know this. We gathered metal. Yeah. yeah so, so we, we have, have some metal. metal. I, I so think the staff should be somewhat magical to give the appearance. Yeah, we'll. I'll work with Sayonis to figure out how. Exactly what we'd have to do to make it seem believable. Um, this tool's magical. I can make it. All right, so throw out anything else you guys think we need. We have climbing gear for seven people, a week's worth of rations for seven people. Mm. I guess now we don't actually yep. need. Climbing boots for Alma. Anything else you want to ask her for? Not that I can think of. Um. You would know what she needs to be able to make what you need or do. We to. already have it. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Um, I guess honestly, just wait for Mizuki to get here then. Nothing else? That's all you guys need? That's all I need. See, it's not a bad list. Okay, so yeah. I that I will send you a message, <laughs> you know, to come to us and bring Should climbing gear for face. seven. Okay. While we're waiting, though, a week's I'm worth of rations a, uh, for seven. A ski mask for myself. And a pair <laughs> okay. of warm boots for Alma. You can't wear that in the bank. Are we going somewhere? Yes. Where? Anybody else want a white ski mask? We'll explain when you arrive. <laughs> Don't like it. Mostly because it's a really bad idea. <laughs> yeah. I don't like not knowing. Let's what be I'm honest. Going in the current into. situation we're in, there aren't a whole lot of good ideas that we can have. Yeah. yeah. We could just sit here forever. <laughs> yeah, like that's the. We are a bunch of low-powered, okay. more or less adolescents. <laughs> Keith, trying to take yes. on a huge evil witch. If I recruit all of the people in the, the few days it will take her to get to us, can we work on making a paraglider? <laughs> a paraglider? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> so, so like, I mean... Well, okay. so, so a paraglider in my brain is basically a powered parachute. Is it, what 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 is in your brain? So well, I, I guess I better make sure I, I am making some assumptions here. Uh, how close are are there? How big is this glacier versus where the tower is? Is there a place in Gear Will Pop? Is there a place close down. enough that we could potentially go climb up on, and then someone with what is essentially a <laughs> kite that they can control jumps off and yeah. flies? Okay, so, so so you're talking about an actual it's like hang glider? Yeah. Okay. I was just saying I would send images of the area to. Okay. Uh, Killian. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, right. What he missed. Uh huh. Yep. Um, the very brief sort of glimpse you get of the tower is that there's something weird about it, something odd about it, and you're not. You have to have Ingear sort of replay it for uh -huh. you a couple of times uh -huh. before you realize. That the tower is not sitting on top of the glacier, it is sunk 
into oh, the so glacier. Not that hard then. We'll have to climb up it. Oh crap! Like the whole thing is under, or that means the elevator. Oh, the is the top layer is above. Is oh, just okay. above. Sionis. Yes. What's the likelihood that the secret dwarf city is under a glacier? No. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah. Then what was? Well, I mean, there were some entries in some of the early histories about glaciers in the area, but that was that was a couple thousand years ago. Because More according than to the image I just saw, her tower is sunk into the glacier, Ooh. not on the glacier. Ooh. And I can't imagine why you'd be doing that unless you thought that there was a dwarf city underneath that you could get to. Or you just wanted to not be accessible. If I wanted to not be accessible, I would keep my door yeah. 200 feet in the air. I wouldn't put it at ground level. Yeah. Is the door... Wait, I thought you said it was all under the ice. No, no, no. The it's like all is... the way... All the way shrunk down, so like the door is at... Oh, okay. That's different then. Top ice level. I mean, I suppose it's possible. <sighs> Great. Okay, well, I guess... I'm liking this plan less and less and less, but okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, good news. Should be easy to get to the door. Yep. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. You have a weird face. Say what you're thinking. I'm just, I think I'm just, face well, is lovely, don't worry. <laughs> I'm just trying to, to go through everything that I remember from my research and, and see if there is anything about... City under the glaciers. Well, anyway, I guess we'll figure that out while we wait for Mizuki to get here. Because all I know but is that their city flooded. Wait, it flooded? Yep, it flooded. Well, let me put it this what? way. The dwarven... How thing, do you? The, the thing I saw was the ceiling of their underground city was ripped out and water poured inside. So I'm going to put that down under the heading flood. Flood, yeah, that that. So it fell in. What did you see? Through. Is this Sionis or the DM? Yeah, this is Sionis. Okay. Um. Because a, a very old dwarf carving of what happened, and the roof of the city was ripped out and water flooded in. I've never seen anything in any of the stories about. Well, this that. wasn't in the store. Well, let me put it to you this way. This wasn't in any of the stories you're going to get from people other than the descendants of the people who were there. This is about as close as a first-hand account as you're going to get today. Okay. So the city is under... I would be interested in yeah, seeing that carving at some point. You know of a place that flooded? No. I guess it would make sense for it to be a glacier, though. Unless she's yeah. already actually found the tomb, in which case that could be anywhere. Or that's mm. probably the door we found then. Oh, that could gosh. be the tomb. That could be. Literally, no the tomb no could idea. be mm -hmm. anywhere. In, unless you have already the figured key, out what the But are the keys to the tomb, or are the, those the keys to the, uh, I, the city? According to what I was told, the keys were passed down by the descendants of the guards of the prince who laid him to rest. So my understanding was that they were somehow, you used them to find the tomb. I don't know if that means you found the city first and then found your way to the tomb, if they opened the city, if they opened the tomb. All I'm confident with is in order to get to the hammer in the tomb, you have to have the box of stuff. Okay, well, I guess we're heading to the glacier anyway. Yep. We'll find out. See what we can see. We're gonna die. <laughs> and I will put the hang glider idea away for another day. <laughs> oh. Alright. So I guess we're just waiting for Mizuki then. Just, wait, just waiting for Mizuki. So you do get the message about yes. stuff that, that is needed. Mm -hmm. um, how do you go about procuring said gear? Uh, well, let's see. It's like warm weather gear. Mm -hmm. So I probably will yeah. visit Kel again. Okay. So. Uh, ah, um. Miss Mizuki, are, is it, you're a little early for your fitting. Uh, yes, um, I just Things have, have come up. a few, 
other things before. Any, anyway, um, I find myself in need of some cold weather gear. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we've got a few things in the back. I can help you out. Uh, just uh, just uh, one set for uh, you? No, I only need a few sets. Okay. Seven, Seven to be exact. exact. <laughs> yes. Seven oh. to be exact. Okay. I probably have seven sets in your size. Um, a variety of sizes might be good as well. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to imagine like a, an Adrian size and like a, a Simi size and like a... So this, this doesn't have anything to do with Alma, does it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. That's your call. <laughs> No I yet. mean, I'm, I'm not, not sure no. yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Means that, no. <laughs> so he's so he's gonna go back and he's gonna open up this one specific, um, like doorway, the <laughs> closet basically, yeah. and it's got racks of things for Alma and and uh, Killian. And <laughs> Castian. He's the fan. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. I like that he's just been That's planning amazing. for this. There, there, there's, a couple of, uh, there's a couple of later editions that look like it's Simi and, and Adrian, but they're a little bit different. Um, the, 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 the selection in those is a little a bit little, little, thinner. little yeah. thinner because he hasn't been building up That's quite fantastic. as long. <laughs> So. Oh, you're going to a black tie event? So, <laughs> this probably is what you're looking for for those guys. I I hope the the sizes for see me and Adrian are right. I it's haven't good. had a chance. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Okay, um, and uh, for you, and he closes that back. Um, we'll probably take something from over, and he pulls out a set of clothes for you that will. That will be serviceable uh, for. Footwear, I'm assuming as well. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, especially I, particularly a set of boots. Okay. Um, I think I've got some of those around, and he starts rubbinging <laughs> around, and he pulls Alma out. size is fine. Okay, oh, no. and he pulls those out. <laughs> Anything Not else? Uh, what else was on the list? I mean, he looks like uh, like a, week, just a week's worth of rations for each person okay. and climbing gear. Okay. Um, I think that's all I need from here. Um, do you need me to send these to your inn, no, or no, would no, you no, like them you someplace <laughs> else where it's easier to? <laughs> Pick them up. Uh, How is she getting this to us? The inn is fine. Carry it by herself. The inn? Okay. My problem. <laughs> I can. I can certainly do so. Yes. Thank you. Um, I assume from this, you we need to um, <laughs> reschedule your fitting. I suppose there could be time for that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, certainly. Um, and Mizuki's like clothes yes. for all of you, a new kimono for me. Yep. And so it so it'll take a you know he'll he'll spend a, a good forty five minutes to an hour with you getting all the necessary measurements to um, to to fill out your kimono. Um, Make me make me a perception check. Okay. Uh, disadvantage, unfortunately. All right. Because you are focusing on this kimono fitting. Uh, seven. Seven. Oof. The alcohol is yep. all gone. Nope. <laughs> yeah. No, it, you are all about this kimono, and so is Kel. So. Okay. All right. All right. Um, I will. Let's see. Where would I get? Climbing gear. That's a great question. Um. Hmm. The blacksmith is burned down, so. 
Uh, hmm. Make me an intelligence check okay. real quick. <laughs> it was in that one. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, my intelligence is Don't terrible you have some anyway. Inspiration? I, I gave you inspiration if you want to oh, re-roll here. it, but if uh, you want to save mean... that, that's fine too. <laughs> Whatever you <laughs> want, wifey. Well, we'll be real bad. <laughs> Not that it was much better. <laughs> uh, Doesn't take yeah. much to be much better than an average. Yeah. yeah. Six. Six. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're just racking your brain, trying trying to figure it out, and there's nothing, just nothing happening right now. You're you're still thinking about that kimono. It's gonna yeah. be super super nice. It is. It is gonna be really nice. Hmm. Uh, Well, she she's gonna just wander around town for a bit, trying to rack her brain. Maybe maybe she will go to the the forge. Not that there's anything there, but <laughs> yeah, the the forge itself is cold. Obviously, they're reframing the 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 shop itself to try and get walls back up. But for is the she moment, James it's there? Um, James is there. Yes, okay. actually. Um, She'll go talk to James. Okay. Oh, um, my, my lady. Hi, Ito, hello. How, how are you, Miss um, Masuki? Uh, I just had a question. Uh, do you know anything about climbing gear? Um, like, what, what do you look, I mean, I don't go climbing myself, but what are you specifically? Well, neither have I. Okay. Um, <laughs> And I... <laughs> I mean, I've, I've seen it used out at the logging camp. Oh, oh you know what? Camp. You know what? They, they, they've also been using a set over at the Iron, uh, um, uh, Iron Lotus, putting the ah. building back up. Ah, perfect. Wor working on the upper levels. I would allow... Um... Thank you. He's stealing Thank, you Matt. Your... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your help. Uh, really of course, of course, of course. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, you too. Um, you, you haven't seen Cabbage around, have you? Oh. Um, I saw her a couple weeks ago, but okay. she I didn't even get a chance to speak to her. She was just... It, just in passing. Um, Next time you see her, just, I guess, tell her hi. <laughs> tell her I said hi. Poor awkward kid. It'll of be course. okay. I'll we'll bounce back, James. We'll let her know. <laughs> we'll there, be there. all right. Poor James. <laughs> yeah, poor James. Okay. All right, thank you. Uh, I'll be on my way now. Uh, and so he, he'll sort of bow you out and yeah. then go back to what he was doing. Draxus has got them, you know, putting up stone for the new wall. Yeah. Um, all right, so she will go to the Iron Lotus office. All right. <laughs> Um, much like the blacksmith shop, it's obviously a construction zone. Uh, lots of lots of people working around trying to to get the building, get a building put back in place. And true enough, um, as James told you, there is uh, there's a couple of workers in uh, climbing gear up on the upper level, uh, putting putting walls up, putting uh, the 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 framing up um, and looks like they're using it more as, as sort of safety gear to keep from falling yeah. uh, sort of novel you've never seen that done anywhere else but it makes perfect sense um, okay. and probably jot down a note to, to pass that along to the family to to maybe make it make it standard on whatever building projects you guys are working yeah, on I, I... Alright, um, yeah, sure. Uh, like, are, how many workers are there around? Oh, there, there's probably about Seven. a dozen or so. Okay. 
Uh, she'll ask, maybe she'll ask one of them. Um, she'll just pull on them aside. Sorry to stop you from your work. I, I just, um, had, had a problem arise and, oh? um, I believe I need, uh, some climbing gear. Well. And I see some of the workers here. Uh, are using? Do you know where they got that? Um, I a couple of the lads work up at the logging camp, and they they use them up there. But uh, if if you just need a set for a day or two, I've we've got a spare set. Oh, for an undisclosed amount of time. <laughs> time seven. Um, just I might and go. need a few more <laughs> than just one set. I've I've just got the one. I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, no. Um, I'll take I'll take the one. Okay. Certainly. Um, and and he he sort of uh, wanders off for a minute and comes back and he's got um, a, a long coil of rope over one shoulder, a set of uh, you know what looks to be the the harness that the the rest of the worker the the two workers are wearing, and, and a couple of metal shackles. Okay. Uh, so she'll take the one side. Okay. Um, there, there's also a, a small uh, pouch that has what looks like just metal spikes, but they're 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 super super long metal spikes. Um, he, and he, he hands that to you. Okay, she, over here. Uh, she'll give him some coin. For oh, uh, well, that's not necessary. No, it... As he puts it into his pouch. <laughs> no, 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 it's no. not necessary yeah. at all. Thank oh, you. Extra, baby. No, never. No, no, no. I couldn't accept your coin as it disappears into his pouch. <laughs> Thank you for your help. I appreciate it. Sorry to take you away from your work. I'll uh, let you go back to it. My pleasure, my lady. And then he goes back to goes back to work. All right. Starts hammering a little bit. Well, I have one coin. So. <laughs> That's fine. More than we have. It's more than we have. Yep. I mean. All right. What else? Uh, let's see. What else I need? I guess she's gonna get to us. Yeah. She's on the map, so she knows where we're at. But yeah, I bet this lost stuff. You know, okay. Uh. Should probably try to like go track down some some food stuffs. Okay. Um, that's easy, easy enough. To, enough yeah. yeah, that's easy enough to find. That's that's not hard. Um. And I don't remember what else it was. What else was there? Where's Where's your list? Oh, where's your shopping list? That it was just food. It was just food. Okay. Rations, food here. for everybody for a week. So we just need more climbing gear. Yeah, but we've got ropes, so hopefully that'll be enough. Okay. So we'll see. We shall see. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess sh maybe she try to go to the logging camp and see if she can <laughs> find some more climbing gear. Not what I expected from that. That's far, right? Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a good ways out there. It's yeah. probably half the day to get there, half the day to get back. Yeah, she'll mm -hmm. just just take the just, one and go. Um, <laughs> yeah, she'll just take the one. Okay. That she has. So, how are you lugging all of this yeah. out to your companions? With her massive strength score. Yeah, <laughs> actually. <laughs> um. We're good. No worries. Okay. All right. Everything's fine. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Are there any horses, actually? Every child has a white one. Are there any horses, yep. like, in the barn? Well, uh, certainly. There are. Um, there's. Are there any that came with my retainers? Yes. Okay, I will Good. take. Good, those I'm are mine. Right. Those because they are. Yeah, because they are mine. Okay. Okay. Um, I will be take probably the. I'll probably take a couple of those. Okay, one for you to ride and one, one as a pack horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. 
Um, are you loading the horse yourself, or are you having one of your men do it? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> How to load a horse? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> Probably not. Actually, she might know. I don't know. Uh, but I could do it. I'm not proficient. But she'll probably just want. She'll probably just want to load it herself. Okay. I'm guessing. Okay. Um. Go ahead and make that animal handling okay. check. Sorry. Hopefully this is good. Oh, Sixteen. Okay. Nice. Um, the horse kind of shies away a couple of times from you because it's not real sure what you're doing. You've never loaded a pack horse before, and so it's like, this this isn't right. This isn't right. Wait. Okay. Don't this, you touch me. This 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 feels familiar. Okay. This this is still weird, but but um, it does eventually let you um, finish loading okay. it up, and okay. you're able to, to to distribute the load enough that it's not gonna hinder it in okay. any way. Okay. All right. So once you've got it all loaded up. Yeah. Uh, can I make a perception to see who's around? Sure. Gosh, that was a bad perception check. Uh, 11. Okay. Um, you don't see anybody around. Um, it is on towards the end of the day, so most people are <laughs> heading home. I'm going to die uh, Things are... <laughs> <laughs> like she would lock up her room and make I'm sure everything is away. I have enough. Okay. Yeah. And I'm sure she has her all her. Things okay. Um, look, sort of looking down the hallway, you do see that there's a that there's a, a light flickering in Lars's room, um, and you as you watch, you do see a shadow sort of passing along under the under the door. Um, first time. she'll pen a quick letter. <laughs> okay. Stop. Uh, first time for to yep. Lars <laughs> and slip it under his door. Okay. Um, uh, just saying that she'll be out for a few days. All right. Uh, she's doing, uh, doing product research. Make me a sleight of hand check. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be bad. <laughs> Use your inspiration if you have to. My dex is just bad. You have it's fine. It's just I don't five. Just it's five. Five. My dex is bad anyway. It's a five. It's fine. <laughs> nine. Nine? Yep, nine. Okay, so as you, um, as you sort of slip the paper, you're, you're trying to be real sneaky about it, just slip the paper under the door, <laughs> it, it catches, and it, it, it sort of, you, you sort of have to jab it through, and it makes this real loud rustling sound. Run. And you do hear, oh. you do hear footsteps coming towards the door. But she's gonna run. Are you? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. As, as you go around the corner, you hear the door opening down the hall. <laughs> But the but the footsteps do not follow. Okay. Go 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 so you so, so you go and get on your horse okay. and you take the pack horse mm -hmm. in hand and, and head out. Yeah. Toward the location. Uh, looking back, she has on her map. Okay, that so her. so looking back over your shoulder, you do see Lars standing in the window, uh, watching as you go, okay. um, a, as you leave, <laughs> um, making words. special note that you are <coughs> going east and not west. That There's might be something out there. Well, Does that matter? <laughs> Because there's nothing out to the east. 
Oh. That's yeah, why okay. I'm going there. Well, yeah, see? <laughs> but okay. well, besides forest and... There is now. <laughs> she's, she's doing right. water research. She has no idea what she's doing. Actually, <laughs> it's actually no. legitimate. <laughs> she actually has no idea what she's she doing. You may not be turned. Okay. Um, and so you head off yes. down the road. Perfect. How long does it take her to get to us? Yeah, I, I don't know where you guys were getting four days from. You guys are not that far from town. Oh. Well, and she's on a horse. It's like a day outside of town. Yeah, yeah, you guys are about a day outside of town is all. Okay. Um, so so it it takes, you know, you, you leave out right about sundown. So okay. um, the, the there's still light in the sky. It turns to dusk. Um, not far down the road, you, you do have to sort of light a torch if you want to see, or, um, Thank you're, you. yeah, so you, you do have to light okay. a torch if you want to see. Um, you might need to drop the chest and stuff. All right, I will. I, I assume she'll let us know. Let's show us. I'll do continual flame. Continual flame? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What? Are you quite all right? <laughs> right there? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, continual flame for that. Continual flame. All right. Um, don't have to worry about it. So it's hot. that uh, anti-muggle charm thing. Yeah. That's gonna affect her. Hopefully, she. I don't know what she'll do with that, but that definitely kicks in. Um. So <laughs> oh, when it kicks in on the horses, we'll, 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 we will get to that. We will get Hopefully to that. Hopefully she would have announced her arrival, but no. They're my horses. What does that yeah. mean? Yeah. There's a problem. Uh -oh. So we'll, we'll, problem. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> um, so. Oh dear. We're all. Couple we're all a couple hours up the road. A couple hours up the road. Concerns. You pull to a halt and consult your map. And you find, you do see that there is a um, a very narrow, basically game trail, off to your left, that's leading in the direction that you want to go. Okay. And so you you turn off the main road onto this very thin, very narrow track through the woods. Make me a perception check, please, at disadvantage. Because it's dark. Wow. Okay. It's reasons like this that I made it portable. I always pack up and move. Uh, eight. Eight? <laughs> okay. Eight. Um, Unless I re-roll. Um, I'd re-roll. Re-roll. Let's see what happens. No, it'll Still be fine. Still at a disadvantage. I'll, I'll re-roll. Nope, not much better. Eleven. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, you you continue on. Uh, my bird Hector is. I did have him flying around the perimeter, watching for any okay. anybody coming through the forest. Um, have it make a perception. He yeah, have <laughs> it make have Hector make a perception check then. <laughs> Um, so, so you continue along the track for another couple of hours. Um, it's by this point, it's close to midnight, if not just just after it. Um, and you, you you start to feel a little uneasy, and your horses kind of start to 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 whinny and 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 wicker a little bit and. You're you're having to urge uh, your mount forward a good bit. Done that before accidentally. <laughs> Unnatural twenty. Unnatural twenty. Okay, we we will get to that. How does it let you know if it's spotted something? Uh, it it essentially lets out a uh, the call of a hawk, but just off enough that like okay. I can be like, huh. That was a slightly metallic lock. Okay. Ah! Hawk. <laughs> Hawk. 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 
you're gonna have to work on the mind over there, <laughs> Killian. Uh, that's it's a little rough. What are you talking about? That's what all hawks sound like. So what were you what were you Oof. doing there? Uh, I guess I'll just try and to ease the horses. I don't know. Okay. Um, are they make an animal handling check at disadvantage. You're you're a little bit distracted. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't okay. pick that part of that through, but okay. At least we know nobody else will be bringing their horses in. I mean, it eases them down a little bit. They, they they calm down a little bit, but they're still very nervous and reluctant to move forward. Um, okay. It is about this time um, that you hear a hawk's call above you. <laughs> Hawk. 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 It is just um, Killian's and voice. You, and you, <laughs> it's recording. And Killian, Killian you, you hear... You hear the the sound of someone approaching, or you you hear the signal that someone's so I'm gonna, approaching. I'm gonna run through and, and gather everybody. Be like, right, so something or someone is approaching our little hideout here. Okay. Okay. So let's get some people on the walls just can in case I it's not our friend. Can I send to kill you? You can. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, I will send to kill you. <laughs> Be like, um, <laughs> I'm here. Uh, the horses are a little nervous. I'm not sure why, but I'm just I'm just trying to get to where you are. Okay. They're nervous due to a defensive mechanism. Just keep following the map. I gave you. I'm gonna turn it off. Okay. No. I'm going to start heading out down the path that I would have drawn out for her to try and find her. Okay. Do you need somebody who can punch people with you? Yeah, I mean, if you want to come with, sure. you can. I'm, I'm armored up. I'm going well back to I... bed. <laughs> just in case. I'll just sit on the wall by the gate. Oh, yeah, I'll go with you in case somebody needs punching in the face. Maybe get your bottle. <laughs> uh, I am going to move quietly just in case, because all I know is that there was, I don't know if it was only Mizuki or what. I will too. <laughs> was she under duress? <laughs> um, Alright, so yeah, two of you make stealth checks. Okay. 17. 17? Oh, jeez. That sucked. Uh, that's a nine. I'm a stealthy person. That was a nine. Just the wrong. Do you have okay. A nope. I've not done a lot. <laughs> but you oh, yeah. are gonna spend some quality Finger. time um, being eaten by. So monster you can cake. make me a perception check. As I trip over Killian. <laughs> so as soon as we step outside that gate. We would both also feel the effects of yes, this. Uh, yes, you would. 19. And that's what they're doing. Nineteen. So she can come in. Okay. So <laughs> it's about a half an hour later. You start to hear the noises of somebody, a couple of somebodies approaching you from the direction you were traveling. So when you when we first step out of that gate, it's like pretty intense. Paranoia and cre- you super there's something out. in the woods watching you. Yeah, and it's it's real strong. I would have I would have warned you right before we stepped out that you were gonna feel that. Mm-hmm. But I don't like this, Killian. Why did you do this? I mean, I know why you did this. So, but oh my so gosh! That hopefully, if other people tried to get here, they also would not like it. From the top of the wall. <laughs> If you're trying to be quiet, you're failing. <laughs> Thanks, Alma. You're welcome. Oh, okay. Somebody is following her. <laughs> uh, 
I still have sending, right? I still mm -hmm. have the stone. Yeah, you still have I two. I still have two. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna send. Wait. Hmm. Now you're paranoid <laughs> about the word wait. <laughs> wait. I am uh, very paranoid now. <laughs> Well, can I, I didn't can get I the so, message. So you, Never mind. Okay, so the question is that that can only go to one person. Who do you send it to? Uh, oh, probably Killian. Killian. Wait, it can it only go to me. It can only well, go to me. Yeah, yeah, if it's with the stone, okay. it can well, only I mean, go to the, the stone, other person. Is it the stone, or are you like casting the spell? No, the stone. The stone. Okay, yeah, then, the stone then, then, then that's Killian. Then yeah. Um. So so yeah, paranoid about weight. Did she actually really send that? Something. Did I just make that up? Oh, no, but no, but no. I she, she, I just made that up because no, because I'm paranoid now. I'm having her make stuff up. Yeah. Make me a wisdom save. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this tracks. It's all right. You and I have advantage on it. On wisdom save. On this wisdom save, because this would I assume this would count as an enchantment. Well, yes, yes, and it would. We're half elves, so we have advantage I against charms. I always charms. forget yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Against being charmed, yeah. One of these, one of these days, I'm gonna remember what my race does. <laughs> yeah. You... I also assume, since I know that I'm gonna be feeling this way for a good minute. Okay. How stealth? Can I tell how stealthy she's being? <laughs> <laughs> Not as stealthy as you. <laughs> Wait. No, we're, I'm, I'm going to wait till we're out of the really bad paranoia part of this before I tell her to, to hold up. Okay. I don't want to tell you to wait in the middle of the paranoia. Yes, we're going to die! <laughs> you look over your shoulder, Slender Man is standing there. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of how I envisioned it. was like, when yeah. you're at this stage of it, like, out of the corner of your eye, you see stuff moving, and you're like, it's real oh. bad. Oh, Simi already thinks she's kind of crazy. Right. Like, this um, would not be great. Why'd you go She's gonna stop the horses. Okay. And just listen for a sec. Make me a perception check. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Every <freaking> time. Eighteen. <laughs> you're still hearing the noises in front of you, but you're not hearing anything else. Mm. She'll go back along the path a little. Okay. Um, how stealthy are you trying to be? I mean, you're on two horses. I'm not trying to be stealthy. Okay. <laughs> not that, obviously, I so, no, I can't be so So you guys can make me perception checks at disadvantage. <laughs> Frederick has the bad dice. Oh! Either one of those is going to be better. Okay, the least, the lowest is 16. 16? 12. 12? Uh, it's not a hard check, so you both hear horses moving off. Multiple horses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she has to. Okay. <laughs> she said horses. Yes, so once we're out of the really sense. bad paranoia part of this, okay. I will turn around and tell her. <laughs> if anything goes wrong, you'll hear it. Trust me. Ah! Kaka! Kaka! You you still have this sort of prickling in, in yeah. between your shoulder blades that feels like you're being watched. So so I would tell you. Okay. I'm gonna get attacked. Isn't <laughs> there a way to turn this off? There yeah. is, but if I turn it off, then anybody else who's also out here looking for us or who happens to be coming by won't be affected by it, and that kind of nullifies the point of having it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's got a long enough range that, like, it's not gonna be super fast. No, no, no you're just showing the mad and scientist part of yourself. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna. I just wait to hear screams. <laughs> I, and then I'm going to keep stealthing ahead to... Okay. 
Yep. yep. This is going to be the next hour of my life is watching you three play peekaboo with each other <laughs> in a paranoid forest. Okay. Much. All right. So you um, eventually sort of sneak your way up and you find Mizuki. And so she I has am, pointed the other direction back down the trail. I am going the other going direction. To, like I'm gonna once I have her inside, mm-hmm. I'm still gonna stay hidden because I know she's told me to wait. Okay. Um both of you make me a perception check. Disadvantage? Uh yes. Not twenty. Okay. Thirteen. What what is your perception bonus? Uh it's plus five. Okay. So wow. 25. <laughs> okay. Um, that just makes the DC. Oh! Of what? Oh, God. Of the person following her. From the corner of your eye, and you're not Maybe real sure if, if it's paranoia induced now at this point or not, there, you see a, sh- you see a shadow that sort of briefly just shifts against a tree trunk. And it's just the briefest of moments out of the corner of your eye and you're having a real hard time tracking it. Uh, Alright. I'm going to uh, <laughs> say fairly loud, show yourself. <laughs> so you hear that. With my sending stone. <laughs> Was that directed at me? <laughs> uh, I'm going to reply, no, not you. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> what, wait. <laughs> Do you know that? <laughs> yeah, no, she's going to say, yeah, she would assume that it wasn't you. So, you yeah, know, she would say no, not you. Not crazy if they're really following you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you twenty seconds. That's a long, long time. time. <laughs> You're right. It That's is. A really long time. It is an awfully late and dark night, Lady Mizuki, to be wandering on a horse in the dark. Why are you surprised? As Akarai steps out. Ah, wrong step, one! Step, step. <laughs> I would like to try and sneak up behind Akarai. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Okay. Oh, boy, oh, Be boy. Step. Roll your stealth. I'm having an appetite. I'm sleeping. Yay. Natural 20. Nice. Okay. I'm not doing anything, but I wanna be I wanna be close enough that I can pull out my syringe of sedative and jump out and try and jab him if things go south. Okay. <laughs> well He I mean he steps out of the shadow, but he's not approaching, he's just standing there. One could it could also be said it's awfully late to be following. This is wild and dangerous territory, my lady, and you are unaccompanied. (laughs) I have the horses. Yes, but are they trained war horses? They are my family's horses. So no. You, You are in need of protection, my lady. So, uh, and you wish to offer me protection? Certainly. Oh. Great. Do it, Lance. <laughs> once, once, once you pull that trigger, it cannot be undone. I have to be sure. Once you, then you gotta hide the body, and you gotta lay a false trail, and it's a lot of work. You're lost in the woods, so I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't <laughs> talk. Get a portal and stash yeah. him somewhere. Um. So on the wind, <laughs> you ever so faintly hear what you swear <laughs> is the sound of Akarai's voice. Make me a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Ooh, you Why 
I don't have who will wisdom. who will betray you? Who will betray you? So uh, oh no no. Oh damn. That was actually high. Oh, it's good, but you know, I was hoping. Um, <laughs> so that's gonna be a twenty, not a natural. Okay. So you're able to hold it together. <laughs> but that's But I'm the... pretty darn sure it's accurate. I mean, you're, I mean, you're 70% sure it's Akurai, but you also know that, you also know that Killian told you you're, you're going to be feeling paranoia and you felt paranoia and, you know, you, yeah, yeah Killian I mean, was you, not wrong. It's, you, I mean, it's, it's weird, man. It's weird. Okay. So my... Instinct tells me to run and punch things. <laughs> I don't know if what I'm experiencing is real, but if I'm just really quiet, maybe I can figure that part out. I will remind you that Killian told you that if there was trouble, you would hear it. I heard something. Sure. Do, do what you will with that. <laughs> that was what he said. Killian has not always been spot on on things. Nope. You're, you're... Oh, that's I'm a tough one. I'm happy to see that this defensive mechanism is working about as well as I hoped it would. This is... My field test is a good... It works. This is a great field test. I'm going to try and maintain some distance, but I want to go towards the sound quietly. All right. Make me a stealth check. Let it be uh, higher man. than last time. Do not screw it up. <laughs> It's still not, it's not as bad as last time, but it's still not great. Um, plus five, so that's 14. Okay. <laughs> I can't roll stealth checks tonight to save my life. I have a plus five! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna... All right. It would help if he didn't make the noise while you were doing that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this? Is this? He has a theme song? <laughs> um, Killian, Mizuki, make your perception checks versus that 14. Oh. They're going to stab me because they're going to think I'm back up. <laughs> I saw. 13. I hear, I see. Hmm? 13. So, so you, you do not, Mizuki. But does act right. So... Mm -hmm. I'm staying back though. Just wait. Right, um. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, Strike him down. I I feel like Try, protecting him to a random place in the world. is a little below your position. <laughs> I don't oh. see anyone else here to do it. And up comes Simi. And here I am. <laughs> so the question is, I see Simi and I see Akira, I see her. I'm gonna have to stick him. <laughs> yep. It's a sedative. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 From behind. 13 year olds. I swear. I'm surprised. <laughs> So, but, never drop the soap, Akurai. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, there, I feel like there's better ways to protect someone than sneak around and follow them. You may be right, but I also know that you seem to want your privacy for some reason. So I simply wanted to provide protection without necessarily burdening you with having to ask. Over the sending You realize stone. the problem with that. Yes? <laughs> no. It's this not is actually why you don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> giving me my privacy. Amongst other things. <laughs> Over the sending stone. I'm right behind him if you want me to make a move. <laughs> Do it. Strike him down. 
Am I close enough to hear this? Uh, make a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, 15? Eh, I mean, you're still hearing voices. Okay. I was going to roll an insight to see you're, if he and you're he was telling the truth. Hearing, but... You are hearing, you're picking out Mizuki for sure. And that other voice still sounds an awful lot like Akurai. Um, will he stay or will he go? Make, <laughs> make your stealth roll again. I'm just being still his right now. Saving throw. <laughs> oh, are you just being still? Yeah, like once I got within a decent range where I could be okay. close if something happened. I'd okay, still... then then don't worry about it. Excuse me, because I'm also low-key a little bit uh, not in going to enjoy the conversation I have with Killian after this. <laughs> where he told me to stay and I didn't. <laughs> if, if I reply, I'm assuming I probably can't. Hear it, right? No. It's, no. Yeah. It's no. Okay. Head. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. I will. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I will say. The kangaroo court him. Uh. Possibly. If I. If I don't manage to handle this alone. Hold, please. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Okay. Uh, but yes, it doesn't actually give me my privacy. Hmm. And I am on... Uh, it's business matters for my family. No, oh, well, I, and, and I am... Um, Just hurry and stick them already. <laughs> I am cognizant of that. I have a bit of a conundrum, you see, though, because I can't... Can you tell? I can't, in good conscience, leave you out here unprotected. <laughs> but I do wish to provide you with some measure of privacy, so I'm not sure how we address that. Jacob. <laughs> do it. <laughs> I still have one Sunday, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we all want you to do it. <laughs> and then we'll figure out what to do with it later. Oh, it's going to be such a nightmare. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is a problem. Am I going to reply to Killian? <laughs> Do it. Do it. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> it's, yeah, we're going to have I, to... I, yep, I, doing my best. <laughs> So as you go in, you've never seen anyone move this fast. He He steps out of the way, grabs your arm, flips you over. I'm going to need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Now I'm going to (laughs) run. I'm sleeping. Are you running to to them? Yes. Uh, 24. 24? Okay. So, so you are you are able to actually keep your balance and, and land back on your feet, but he's got wow. you. Good job. He's got you. Uh, <laughs> he's got you in a martial arts hold, and he's got your wrist with the hypodermic. Uh, oh boy. Can I? Let's see? do initiative for you. Okay. For you guys. No. Not oh. twenty. Ah! <laughs> All right. Yeah, you well. <laughs> That one. Oh, finish <laughs> All right, so natural 20. That one. Natural 1. 14. 14? Okay. <laughs> Simi, Killian, Akurai, and Mizuki. Have they, been, have they been gone for a long enough time that I should be concerned? No, not yet. Uh, Especially since you're asleep, so no. Okay, I have to remember all of my things. Now, the two of you on the wall, it, it's... Right? 
you're going to be on the lookout for them coming back any minute. Anyway, I was talking to her, and she was like, I think it's a great idea. I thought it was a bad idea, but we did it anyway. <laughs> this, is, this is that scene from the Oceans movies where he's like, relationships are, mm-hmm, but they're also, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, you never did finish that story about the guy that wanted to marry you? Or, oh, no, 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 I, no, no, he didn't want to marry me. Oh. He was married to me, but not me. Ah, I see. It's been long enough since I've fought. I forgot how to fight. You punch things. So, did you play I the know. Yeah. Oh, no. But, like, no, no, no. I, I went out the back window. No, you always get you always, you always get Go one. You can only flurry of blows and like, bonus action punch points. if you punch. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you punch. But yeah, for standard. some reason, I'm trying. Well, I, I think that I have You need to go to the monks. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Did not go according to plan. Of course, I don't think anything ever really goes according to plan. Like, my plans always seem to backfire. There's only no bonus action. Like, no matter how you only bonus plan action for it. punch if you've punched as your action. Yes. Things yeah. happen. Which is. Hey, so I was which I, I can what do. If, what if I come visit you at the Capitol? Oh, absolutely. Um, I, I would love yeah. to see the Capitol so, once myself. As you should. There's, there's a lot there, and um, a lot of people you can get in contact with, maybe. And yeah, no, that'd be so, fun. Yeah. I mean, that's why I move on business out there, is for the contact. That's fair. Maybe I can get my dad some, some business sent from the capital itself. That'd mm-hmm. be cool. I hope while I'm sleeping I get a dream, a premonition of what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> In your dream, you're like, Step no, I killed my brother! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. <clears throat> and if you like, I, mean, I can even start you off in my shop and... Sell some of the okay. clothing lines there as well. That'd be fun. Just to start out with, and then if you want to. So make we're gonna do. Oh, I don't think I want to set up shop on Capitol now. Well, that depends if you that actually what happens when you actually see him. But oh, you know, that's true. Cool if I have to make a wisdom save, mm-hmm. I didn't what think about there, that. What else there? I don't have any. Really, that twenty yeah. might not go very far. Yeah, it's plus two attacks, so I'm gonna use these three. All right, do I need to make a save before I do this? Yes. Balls. <laughs> Is a 15 enough? You are... <sighs> is 15 enough? This is this is an Elma. This isn't some... Yep. Yeah, this, I this mean, isn't magic-induced. I, I will leave it up to you. Um, as, you're coming, as you come around the tree... No! Because <laughs> it, it's right on that line, and I, I'm not real sure what Simi's state of mind at the... Actually... Actually, let let me say it this way. Have you been drinking oh. tonight? Bless you. We were planning before, and then immediately this happened. No. No, this no. has been a few days. Oh, yeah. It's been, been like days. a day. So yeah, it's yeah. been like a day. Yeah, because I had. So it's like I it probably was. Then make that wisdom saving throw at disadvantage. Run! <laughs> there we go. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay. So that makes it a five. <laughs> okay. As you f- jump out in t- onto the trail out from the trees, you see Akari. He's got. He's got. You recognize the grip. He's got um, Killian's uh, wrist in a lock. The hypodermic is pointed right at him, but he seems not at all bothered by this. And it's Akari. And it pulls you up. Huh. It pull. I mean, it it takes the wind out of your sails, and you, you're. I mean, you're okay, mechanically you're, uh, mechanically oh, yeah. stunned. Oh, you're stunned for the round. Oh, balls. Sorry, Killian. He's just over here, like oh shit. <laughs> yep, pretty much. All right. So all Akari's done is essentially try and throw me to the ground. Yeah, I just and then locked your wrist so that the the hypodermics in so front as, of his face. As but, you can see, Lady Mizuki is in no danger hmm. here. You can go. Hmm. Hmm. He might be in danger once you let him go. <laughs> Make me a persuasion check. 
Ah, I wish I was better at this than I am. <laughs> I wish I was there. Too bad it's not lying. I'm great at lying. I'm good at persuasion. 16. Okay. One has to be when you run a business. That's not a Now, with that, are you relaxing the arm with the hypodermic at all? I'm, I'm not, like, I'm sort of, like, angling it away from him. I'm definitely not, like, if he's not going to back down, then I'm going to go right in and make an attack. But I am, like, you, you caught me. It's fair game. She's safe. You can go. It's fine. So what I'm, what I'm looking for is whether or not your, your muscles are still sort of in that tensed state. Because if... No. Okay. Feeling that, he, he does... Let your grip go and take a long step away from you and Mizuki. Mm -hmm. Has Sina come out in the open? Can we see her? Probably so. Probably so. Um, Let's see if he's noticed. Are we still on an Ari No. No. Oh, well. Well, that will will depend on what happens with Sina. Yeah. So, uh, so, so he kill. does stand back, or at least the hit real and take it <laughs> takes a step away from the two of you. It's like I meant no harm. <laughs> I was simply looking out for, for the lady's I well-being. Know I respect Three. that, but well-being. she has asked you to two. leave her alone. One, you need to go. <laughs> Unless, you, of course, you're here on official business. But as I understand it, you simply saw a lady in need and thought that you'd help out. But she does not want your help. Please respect her wishes. <laughs> so, so let, let's give let's give uh, let's give Mizuki a chance to act, and let's give Simi a chance to act. Okay. Please go away. Uh, please go away. Please go away. Try again. Uh, I'd like see. to apologize in advance for how this is about to go down. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just trying to defuse him because the only way I have to fight back is magic. And I really don't want to okay. use magic in front of this guy. Uh, th- thank you again for your help. Oh, bugger okay. off. <laughs> uh, it seems uh, as if I do have someone, so your services are... So I see. But is there anything else that that you need at this point? No. <laughs> Good night to the both of you. And he is <laughs> going to turn <laughs> and get punched in the back and of the head. start <laughs> walking away. See me? I am standing right behind him and just beat me. <laughs> <shit out. laughs> he turns around and you're just like, <laughs> I mean, that, like, uh, on the shoulder and then, you know. <laughs> Back to initiative. I mean, the lowest is a. I, I think I she's mean, gonna hit. The lowest is a nineteen. The lowest is a nineteen. Um, and and before, like right before it connects, I'm just gonna be like, "You son of a bitch!" And bam, like just absolutely deck him. Um, so the the first will be. Why did I roll three d four? Oh, because I have I have an attack that I wasn't accounting for. Um, <clears throat> that's a, We're gonna have to that's still. Uh, oh, it's gonna be a nightmare. Okay, so we actually got yep. there. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He's too close. So we either four, we either knock him out those? and take him with us, or we move. Because I've got the the uh, the Your two? action is just one. I don't care. Huh? Your action is just one at this level. I get it. No. Um, that comes with martial arts. The, what? the flurry of blows, yeah. Right. Yeah. So I get... Your action get is one. So because we're not at fifth level yet. Oh, did I... You get one attack and okay. then you can flurry of blows. So just to ignore that one. So we'll ignore the one that I just rolled. Um, and I'll take one of these guys away. Okay. Um, <laughs> so Almost. yeah, the lowest one of those is gonna be. Uh, if I miss on my second try, knock him out. Yeah. <laughs> so that's gonna end up being. The problem is I don't want him to see any of us. Nine. Um. 
And then plus out. seven, so either. sixteen. Yeah. We turn it off. Plus you don't know five is twenty-one. Oh. I'm just I'm just gonna like straddle him and I mean, punch him. Like, I mean, hard. he rolled a natural one to hear you standing behind him. Uh, uh, uh. You caught him completely, <laughs> flat-footed, unawares. You cold cocked him <laughs> and knocked him out. <laughs> nice. So as soon as he hits the ground, I'm gonna run over like. Oh. Good job. Do it anyway. <laughs> no, I don't know. What and that's do. where we're gonna leave it for the night. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh. Terribly sorry, you guys. No, no, this is. And we will pick up there next week, know, right? and we'll figure out how they get out of this one. Uh, <laughs> well, we we kill him, hide the body, and move. Nice. Do you want him dead? So we will uh, we will we will see you guys next week, and we will uh, we'll, we'll pick up here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed tonight. I know my players, I'm sure, had a good time, and we will uh, see how they handle it. Um, in, in the meantime, got a couple of announcements on the way out. Uh, do check out the Discord server. Um, good place to keep tabs on the announcements that we have. Um, anytime we have to change schedules or if anything comes up unexpected, we let you guys know on the Discord server. Um, it's also a good place uh, when you're tagged into it. You'll you'll get notifications from Discord when we're when we're going live, and that applies not only to this stream but also to Kyrie's yes. creative streams. Uh, she she streams uh, numerous times during the week, uh, much more so with her artistic stuff than we yes. do here because this takes a lot of prep. Um, but uh, both uh, we're, we're both kind of working on that, so a uh, good place for no news for both of those fronts. Um, we also have our YouTube channel. Um, all of the video content we do here on the, this stream uh, goes to the YouTube channel, so go over there, hit like and subscribe. Be sure you hit the bell icon. You'll always be notified when new content goes live over there. Um, quick shout out to Pan Streams, just because they're nice guys and have let Steven use their stuff freebie. Um, we don't get to f feature it all that often, but we still want to give them a shout out and drive some traffic over there to them just for being super cool. Um, also, the sounds you were hearing, the incidental um, uh, music and uh, background sounds you were, you guys were hearing tonight are courtesy of Sirenscape. So check them out as well, especially if you're running your own table. Um, really, really easy to pull that up and have um, have that going in the background to set the mood. Um, that's all for us here tonight. Be sure you come back and check us out next week at 6 o'clock Mountain Time. Until then... Grab your bats and grab your balls. <laughs> and remember, if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a glass house. Good night, everybody. Yeah.